Can you believe it already? It's the end of November. The Thanksgiving season is upon uh, the people who live in those countries that do Thanksgiving. I'm in Australia, we don't do it. It's just a hot sun, you know, November day. Anyway, three, two, one. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the b and stream today on this fine 25th of November, 2024. Sup, Fetty, how's it going? Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful week. And we'll have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, my week's been nice and uh, chill, kind of, uh, kind of a bit of you know things to do, but definitely uh, you know I'm feeling calm. I'm feeling like yeah, one month to Christmas. Yeah, legit. So if you haven't done your Christmas shopping, it's uh, well it's Thanksgiving week, so you get your Black Friday and your Cyber Monday coming up. So I've already bought pants just for me. I needed pants, so I got pants. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, now's a great time to get stuff for other people, um, and, uh, yeah, other than that, let's dive into it, because, yeah, there's, I'm gonna do, I think the schedule is gonna be that we're gonna do four streams for December. Usually I only get three done, but I can fit in the 2nd, the 9th, the 16th, and the 23rd. Let's dive into today's game, shall we? So, let me see if I can do this real smooth. Okay, wah, wah, oh, there it is. We have Windows 98 ready. We got Scholastics, the magic school bus explores the ocean. Uh, there's gonna be a mouse awkwardly visible for a bit of this intro, I apologize. Or not. But, uh, but yeah, so I had four magic school bus games. Uh, we missed the first one, the very, very first one, some classic colors, to classic colors, yes, exactly. Uh, we missed the very first one, which is, uh, they explore the solar system. And I might go back for that at some point, but I never grew up with it. So, there's that. But I did grow up with basically the next four. So, we did the, uh, Inside the Human Body, which I think is probably the most iconic of all the Magic School Bus scenarios. Um, but really all the scenarios that come up in the song are, you know, absolute classics. Uh, Explores the Ocean is the, uh, the third game they made, and... Uh, some of the technology has sort of, you know, found its way, so, uh, no more are they relying on the full motion video, it's mostly in, you know, the engine now and can occupy the full screen, uh, which is great, uh, even if it does mean that this intro sort of ends here, but can I just say the bus with the sunglasses and the balloons is the greatest thing ever. It's so good. I love it. Um, but yeah. Uh, hopefully if I've talked over this intro enough, the copyright, uh, you know, uh, entities won't, uh, won't address that, but, uh, otherwise that's muted out. I'm sorry, that was just literally the intro. Here comes the bus, I love it. There's something so great about the vibe of this, and I'll say, you know, Christmas, for most people, they associate with snow. This is what I associate the summer with. Absolutely scorching heat and occasionally going to a beach. Occasionally. Oh, yeah, 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 it's great. Now let's hit the beach. Hit the beach. That's just absolutely iconic. Uh, so, if you if you didn't tune in for the last Magic School Bus stream, uh, this is basically an edutainment game where you click on things and things happen. The beach is home for a lot of animals. So if you see garbage, please pick it up and put it in a trash can. And you're going to have your environmental message probably a lot in this, but... Build some sand castles? That's fair. Oh. There's a lot of weird little mini-games in this as well, so I will try and show off. Uh, it would have been, uh, August, so last year, I think? ...to see the different sizes. When you know which one you want to use, click on it and drag it onto the sand. Start building! Start building! So this is a little fun little activity, but yeah, you can, uh, you can drag drop little things. So you can be like, ooh, big, big pyramid castle. You know how it is, just draw buffer. Oops, I actually have one there. We're gonna put some some towers on it. That's some force perspective right there. Give it some walls. Give it some walls going the other way as well. There we go, that's how we do it. And lucky last, you gotta have just some arms coming out of your, your your castle. Uh 
I've, I've completely thought of this the wrong way. There you go. My castle is ready to annihilate people. So what can you do with this? Well, you can save it. What are these ones? <laughs> I was trying to tell you. I think maybe, yeah, I probably saved like some weird ones here and there. What is going on here? Yep, that's uh, that's exactly it. Also, greetings, Blub. How's it going? How's it going? We are building sandcastles. But yeah, that's all. I oh, yeah, you can pan as well if you want to. So you got some more space if you really wanted to, but... <laughs> that is true. But yeah, we'll show off everything, at least that I can find. Aren't you excited about the treasure? I bet there's a ton of golden money. Ralphie... There are a lot more wonderful things to discover in the ocean than just money. Like oil. <laughs> Look at that. Would anyone want to leave garbage on the beach? It could really hurt the animals who live here. It could hurt that the animals. In a trash can. Yes. Why you, would anyone want to leave You know what I mean? Put it in the trash. Oh, put it in the trash. It really hurt the animals who live here. Put it. Put it. That put it. Put it. Put it. Why put would anyone put it in the trash. There you the go. Beach? Nope. Really what? We're not doing it. <laughs> Crab time. That We're doing the crab time. It's up to you to help out Clarence Crab. Clarence Clap crab. crab. Oh my gosh. But the Jeez. seabirds are hungry for him. Click on yeah, I, uh, eat. it's always tricky. I always feel bad when you go to like sporting occasions because there is so much litter at the end of everything. Uh, and you just got like actual like just people cleaning everything up at the end. Uh, so how do you do this game? You click, the crab goes where you want to click, and then you gotta not get killed. But you want to just pick up all the stones, which is sometimes possible without having to duck into the thing. It's got sound effects spam, I'll tell you that. Hi. Oh, okay. Ooh, gives you anxiety. It's a football, I chiseled it. I was talking about sporting occasions just then. Oh! You want a fish oh! Also, hi, yes! We have an actual intention. Are you ready to continue an actual the goal level? for the game. There is like your overall goal. Okay, so, yes. So, it's a collection of mini games, and your ultimate goal is similar to. We'll, we'll get the actual goal, um, soon ish. Uh, but in the, uh, in the inside the body, your goal was to visit every single location inside Arnold's body and then evacuate using, uh, one of various means that you can figure out. Um, this wallet- oh, oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. But, uh, every three rounds, you get a fish card. And the fish card is your secret clue. There is a secret collectathon happening in the back of everything. I love this just like, whoa. This rotoscope person coming out of the woodworks. Because it's a different person every mini game you do as well. So we'll try doing this for a bit. We'll see how well we do. But I don't think you have to get like too good at each game. Because ultimately you just keep trying. You get some fish cards. You know, as you're doing. But uh, let's see how many fun little fish cards we collect over the course of the stream. Because this is going to be a, a one-off showcase. But it's mostly going to be the whole game that you can figure out as well. Um... But I think there's a lot of fun things to just show off, you know, like, uh, this is this is just edutainment wow, in the mid-90s. Wow! This is what edutainment's like. You're a kid, you, you got like a Windows 95 PC, or a Windows 3 PC, this actually works on that. Oh yeah, we gotta get every single fish card. Do retro achievements at when. Unironically, this would actually make for a pretty, pretty dope set. I'm not gonna lie. Because there's so many, like, things to do. You could just have, like, achievements based on, like, witnessing just weird phenomena everywhere. You just won another fish card. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah the castle building is silly, but I love it. Also, there's some neat music in this one. It's sort of low-key. It's a lot quieter than the previous one, but... Whoever did their art, toned it down a little bit, put fewer Illuminati symbols inside. Oh, oh, the quick dodge. I'm picking up so many pebbles, the font doesn't know what to do. I think most of these games ended around 10. So I'll, I'll keep just grinding it for a bit, we'll see how we do. 
Also, I did get an urchin already. We are already in the dupes territory. I want to. I want that CD with every single sound effect that every single like '90s game used. Everyone always notes Doom's like sound effect. Oh, 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 oh! The juke. The juke. I'm not gonna necessarily get to level 10 of every single one of these games, but we'll try. We'll try. I got a fish card. Yeah. Some of these are actually mollusks, so not fish. Alright, here we go, here we go. We're feeling good, we're feeling good. Ah, oh, come on! No. Yeah, exactly, just don't get hit. Ah, oh, see? You see what I mean? They've, they've got- Oh! Oh, snap! It's spawning on me! Ah! No, 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 no! No! <laughs> you can't- Okay, okay, okay. That's not fair, guys. That's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, the texture hunters are gonna have a field day on this one. I don't know how you actually pull it off for, um, this kind of stuff, because some of it is, like, direct Great. draw. You, you might be able to hook into it. I'm curious. I'm curious what you do for some of this stuff. Um, are you but this is, this is technically for Windows, so we're not gonna see it immediately on Retro Achievements. I used to always take this very slow and steady, and now I'm just like, click, 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 click. Cause now I got the big birds coming. Oh, I'm good, I'm good. That's not apparent. <laughs> I, to be fair, I the ocean is a curious one. I guess, well, inside the bus. I guess the easy thing for most of the magic school bus things is just to go to a place that people are never going to go to. Not the beach, necessarily, although being on the beach is a fun starting point, but like, under the ocean is like... Most people are never gonna go under the ocean, um... Like, in their entire lives. And as in, like, not like... Two meters under the water, but like, as in, like, you know... <laughs> ocean gate diving. Which is good fun, because, uh... I watched, uh, I played, a uh, Man of Medan over the, the Halloween period. And they do some deep sea diving in that, and that's not... That just seems so irresponsible, those people. Can we do the level 10? You want another fish what the heck, did I just get a shield? Wow. Do you okay, alright. We can see what lies beyond level 10. I'm just putting the, the stones, like, way off in the fire end. Ooh. Unless it keeps going, in which case, <laughs> I think we're good after level 10. Don't ocean gate. <laughs> True. Well, they did find the ocean gate sub, though, didn't they? Great. You want a fish card? I'm not sure if they found every bit of it, but they found it. Oh, do we just keep going? We just keep going. Alright, alright. We'll be here for hours if if we don't call it. So I'll call it a ten. Do you really want to stop? I'll playing? call it a ten because we've got so many other things to see. Look at come at me with the sides. Played really well and won a lot of fish cards. But be sure to come back and win more. So unfortunately, you don't continue progress if you ever go back to these. I just know I'm going home with sand in my shorts. Thank you, Arnold. What is he doing there? Oh my gosh! Whoosh! Got this beach ball. Ooh. Ooh. Sea turtles aren't in Everyone likes a good turtle. We should form a Save the Sea Turtles committee. Oh I want to help the sea turtles too, but I don't think I have the energy for another one of her committees. Nice. According to my research, she said it. She said it. Contains about 10,000 microscopic animals. They're so small, we can't even see them without a microscope. Oh. I can't believe how many great things there are in the ocean. Oh, there she goes. She's out. She's gone forever. Caught in a rip. Out to sea. Never to be found again. Um, there's actually... Oh, as well, if I click on this. This is, this is how we start our quest. What's that throw, though? Wow! 
Attention, everyone. Tremendous kick. It seems like we have a treasure to find and clues to follow which will lead us to it. It can be found anywhere in the ocean. So we'll do, 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 do. I, I, oh, that was, that was a tremendously poor we rendition of Message in the Ball. So much fun exploring. Click on me for the first clue. The next two are up to you. Well, they they will go under the ocean. We got we got various bits under the ocean. It's just there's you know there's a lighthouse over here. Lots of, I'm just clicking all over to see what's going on. Freaking Liz chilling here. Thank you, Liz. This place is fantastic. I can't wait to take a dip in the deep. What does that mean, Carlos? Oh, that's what it means. Oh my gosh, he's also dead. Yo, Miss Frizz, you're a bad teacher. <laughs> no, he's actually gone. He's actually gone. Nah. I bet I make one fantastic looking shark. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Leave him, leave him down there. Leave him down. Okay. What animal protects itself from harm? By actually losing an arm. What animal protects itself from harm while actually losing an arm? So, the way this game really works is that you have this, uh, I guess, this clue system. Uh, every time you, you play the game, there's actually quite a handful of... A lizard? Close. Close. So there's actually three clues that will lead you to the treasure, and it's randomized. There's actually a bunch of different things that can be your clues. Um, so... But, uh, we need to go on an expedition in order to, you know, find these. So, let's click on the bus, and away we go. Uh, let's reuse elements from the previous game. That's right, we got the silly creator. It's not a speedrun RNG, although you could. Uh, we have our uh, skin color slider. Unfortunately, it can't be blue. But you can, um... You still get the... The very bizarre sound effects. Alright, what, what do I look like? What do I look like? Uh, those those eyes look like me, definitely. Yeah, that's that's definitely it. That's definitely it. Back to the name. That's that's what I look like. Yes, my eyes just leak out onto my nose. Blendy B. Uh, my age is, uh, not a number. <laughs> you can type whatever you want in there. Um, and you can save over a thing. That's my, uh, test. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll keep that there for a bit. Um, and yes, you can print out your diver's license. Very nice, guys. Very, very nice. Um, but then, yeah, this puts us on the... Well, I guess, behind the, the, um, the bus. Fortunately, it's a lot quicker to go from back to front. Used to have a whole terrible loading screen. Back to the lab again. Um, but other than that, you know, it, it's it's a lot of the same. You've got things that tell you, you know, what you're doing. You can go out if you want. This is your, well, that's your go out button. Where'd everyone go? Um, we've also got our, I guess our uh, clues to the treasure if you want to pull it out from whenever. Oh my gosh! The destination. Then pull the gear shift to travel there. Sure. I also got a little map of the world in case you don't know where you are. That's right. The magic school bus takes place in South. Uh, was it South Carolina? Ugh. Twenty-four degrees Celsius. Actually, it's twenty-seven inside my room, so it gets so toasty. There's just things to touch everywhere, you know. You can actually, uh, as well, uh, just twiddle things all over the place, man. Can we, like, steer around or, like, look around? Yeah, we could do this. Yeah. So you can, uh, there you go. You can periscope. What, what does the beach look like? And the answer is beach, I guess. It does look like a beach up here. Oh, you can hear, you can hear the sounds of the animals. What have they done to my brand? <laughs> Bottlenose dolphin screams out in, in pain. 
That's my impression. <laughs> Pelican go. <laughs> uh, I actually, I'm pretty topicless today when it comes to just like random things to talk about because I think the Magic School Bus is very timeless and of its own. The only thing I've really got to talk about is the Game Awards nominees, but I've sort of got like a bit of a dismal take on it as well. So maybe we'll find a space to talk about that. I want an otter. I really want an otter. But I know that there's a lot of animals that don't really like being pets. Astrobot sweep? Exactly, yeah. I, I would like Astrobot to sweep as much. Hold on, I'll bring it open in the other half tab. <laughs> I don't think this actually changes, depending on where you are. Because you may be wondering why there's like seals on the beach, or walruses on the beach. How often does that happen? How often are you just chilling on a beach at 24 degrees? Massive walrus comes by. And then murders you apparently, he's constantly stabbing. All the time? Yeah. Uh, did I pull this out? A little print? Oh! Oh, this guy! Come on, click on things! <laughs> ah, that tickles! What are you clicking on me for? If you want to learn some more fun facts about the ocean, click on the pictures, and I'll tell you all I know. This mollusk with sunglasses. Just put sunglasses on anything. Sea turtles have inhabited the ocean since the time of the dinosaurs. Hey, I bet Steal I know how his the sea look. turtle got its name. When the cavemen saw it for the first time, they said, Ugh, look, see, title. See, title. <laughs> the accent, the accent. Fish don't have eyelids, so they can't ever blink them, which sounds painful. Of course, I don't even have eyes, so how would I know? Oh. Did you ever hold a shell up to your ear to hear the ocean? The sound you hear is not the ocean. It's the sound of your blood pumping in your ear. I always thought they put some kind of stereo system in there. You wouldn't think so. But fish can become seasick if kept on board a ship. I guess those fish don't have their sea legs. Or any kind of legs. Helix time. So, thank you. We do have... Muscle fun facts. Also, you can you can turn off the, the, the radar beeping. Oh, that button is worthless. That is a worthless button. And yeah, you can tell where we are, so... Anyway, back at... Oh, hold on. Hold on. There we go. Back of the back of the bus we go. Miss Frizz is chilling. Hi. Just wait till you see all the treasures the beach holds. Yeah. I don't think there's as many locations as the inside the body, but you do have quite a bunch of activities and things going on. Perfect wave for Liz to surf on. And to change the getting a wave for Liz to surf floor, on is the greatest thing ever. On one of the funnels on the right of the screen. To make the wind stronger or weaker, use the switch under the fan. Click on Liz to see her surf. And hang ten, dudes. Hang ten, dudes. Oh, right, here we go. Here we go. All right. We got no waves. We need less sand. We need less Close sand. The beach and the strength of the wind influence the size and shape of breaking waves. All right. There we go, Liz. You got this. Okay, Liz. You're sort of, sort of a bit mid. <laughs> you put more sand on that? No, not really. So what if you, what if you up the wind from here? There you go, Liz. You got this. Ah, what the heck, Liz? We need more sand. There's no wind where it's at. Maybe. Alright. It's somewhere in the middle. You got your... You got the X-Files sound. That's how you know you're doing alright. We've also got this thing right here. 
So it's like every time I click on something, you're like, what on earth? Choose an object. Then click on the green button to Yeesh. drop it down the chute and check it out. Is what comes out anything like what you put in? Alright, we're putting in a rock. So I think it's as a sediment simulator. Gosh, that's a rock crab. Dude, that's my jam right there. What? <laughs> you expect crab? Alright, here we go. Here we go. Is this just a butterfly fish? Hey, it's a butterfly fish. Oh, easy. Easy. We're gonna mince this dog up. We're gonna see what he turns into. The fish for <laughs> get the picture of the, the picture of the the, the AI dog fish. That's like terrifying. The dog fish. I would prefer the <laughs> exactly. Look, it's a clownfish. I, I, this is how the ocean works, right? Nemo, exactly. Cool. Dude, just before stream, I was watching um, Strange World with my mate, and uh, we were like making so many Nemo references because that's like half the plot. And then just like various other Disney movies as well in the middle. Hey, it's okay. Fun. I was just like, eh, is this gonna happen? Lemon <laughs> cameo, exactly. That lemon is pretty expensive. What does lettuce turn into? Oh, sea lettuce. lettuce? You can't just add C to the front of it and it becomes the ocean version. <laughs> Whoa, a speckled balloon fish. I wonder how many of the names of these animals have changed over time. And like in particular since 1996 when uh, 96 or 95 when this came out. Wow, a flashlight fish. We I don't think we ever call them flashlight fishes. But sure. Check it out. A basket starfish. Oh no, you're gonna call him a flushlight fish. Oh, Not the flushlight. Wow, it's an arrow crab. I don't want that in my house. Oh, wrong month, guys. Wrong month. <laughs> stick bug, you got stick bugged. Wow, Christmas tree worms. Okay, you're just making this up now, Carlos. None of this is real. None of this is actually real. Can you believe it? Acorn barnacle. Just a week away. How many things are there? I did not realize how many things are just Oh, uh, there's fish versions. Feather fish, you know, like Look, a feather boa kelp. At some point, I'll just call it, like, how many of these are we gonna see? Oh my gosh. A trumpet fish. That is a very lame trumpet. Alright, we know the swordfish, sunfish, hammerfish, horseshoe. Oh, we're nearly at the end. Okay. 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 Almost good. Almost good. I'm gonna see them all. We're gonna see them. Hey, a horseshoe crab. Magnets. How do they work? I always love how different the fonts look depending on like what you're looking at. Look, it's a hammerhead shark. I would like a hammerhead shark for like the pet. It'd be cool. I always feel bad about pets though because like, because hey, like, what if they like hate being you know like your pet? They're like stuck with you. Or they don't empathize like with you. It goes the sun. Do you know? do, do, do. Swordfish. Swordfish is a classic though. There's a lot of very weird like underwater animals though. I'll tell you that. Uh, also, we can do the crab game again if you want. 
And this button also, I believe, is just, again, a go outside button, so... That's always there. Oh my gosh, Miss Frizz, you're a bad teacher, that's gonna, that's gonna... <laughs> I think there's a certain, like, kind of fish, like, when you- when you get, like, fish and chips, there's a very just default fish. Also, I love these. In many places, a current of water Even when the microphone the quality is different. This is called a longshore current, because it moves along the shore. Swimmers and things washed into the water move down the shore with the current. The longshore current also moves lots of sand. That's why a beach is sometimes called a river of sand. Oh. Riptides, they get I mentioned. Riptide feels like the most, like, Australian term. It's caused when water in the longshore current breaks away and speeds back towards the ocean. If you ever get caught in a riptide, just swim along the shore and soon you'll be through it. Oh my gosh, actual good advice. And then I love, we got videos! The Sega CD videos are back! When the wind moves across water, it makes waves. If the wind blows fast for a long time, the waves get really big. Oh, the compression's big. so great. Then I love it. Then when the wave comes near the shore, the bottom of it drags on the sand, Dude. and the top falls Okay, forward, real talk. And it breaks. I never was a That's beach person, because I'd always hate sand in my shore. feet. It's like, oh, you can never get it out, and then you, like, accidentally, like, eat some. You know what I mean? And you're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Broken up rock. Oh, where's my mouse gone? Where has it gone? Hi, where is my mouse gone? Oh, no, don't do this. Don't do this to me. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. We didn't screw it up. We didn't screw it up. Oh no, I thought I botched that. Um, anyway, uh, over here we have uh, that, if you want to change what you look like. We've got the fish cards. So you can see and print out your fish cards. So we're going to try and collect them all, maybe. We'll see. Here's your chance to dress up Phoebe or Carlos. Click on the arrows to make them try. Oh my gosh. We did it. We did it. He's perfect. He's perfect. <laughs> he has he has achieved perfection. This is hat. Oh my gosh. He's done it. Matista Dora Carlos. Amazing. So I think depending on where you are, if you click on this, you'll get Phoebe. Also, we got a fish here. More things to click on. And oh no 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 no! I don't want this. Do not want. Ah, this. I just you know the whole Earth's back here. If you wanted. Just, just to tell you where the oceans are. The only four oceans. The Indian Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. The only four. Alright, Earth, time to... That Earth is never going back. Oh, there it is. There it is. And see you, Liz. Okay. Uh, but yeah, other than that, we now should be going to different places. Yeah, Antarctic Ocean shafted. Um, so how do we go to different places? Well, the easy thing is just do that, pull your lever, and we'll, uh, transition away. Uh, so this is the Tide Pool. Give us an explanation of the Tide Pool, uh, clam. Come on, click on th If a lobster loses a leg when attacked by a predator, a new one grows back in its place. I guess it really knows how to get a leg up on its enemies. <laughs> limpets aren't very limp at all. They hold on the rocks with one of the strongest suction cups in the world. The suction wild. cup of a limpet could hold a 70 pound weight. Hey, maybe they should call them strongets. <sighs> to disguise themselves from enemies, sea urchins sometimes drape scraps of seaweeds over their spines. They'd use the seaweeds as scarves too, if they had necks. What? 
Hermit crabs borrow discarded seashells to protect their soft bodies. They'll carry the house around on their back until they get too big for it. Then they'll find a bigger house to move into. I want to know something. If they got their houses on their back, how do they fit a bed and kitchen up there? Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, let's visit the Tide Pod. Tide Pod, Tide Pool. So, uh, so you may, uh, have a bit of a feeling about a- oh my gosh. There we go. <laughs> Let our victims out. Ex <laughs> experience the ocean. Here we are, the ocean. So every single one of these areas has a little game as well. I think you can click it somewhere. That fish is fighting. But here's the game. See that fish? That's Sunny. Help her get home by moving her with the arrow keys. But watch out for the rocks and the changing tide. Press the space bar to make her jump. Uh, this game would always give me anxiety. So the way it works is uh, the water would go down. And they'll go up, and you have to somehow get over- well, you have to sort of make as much distance as you can before it absolutely crushes you down in the middle. You don't want to be caught on, uh, any of the, the peaks as the water's going down. Which is no bueno, it's no fun. And, uh, I guess stars give you extra lives. I love hearing water sounds all the time, though. Oh my gosh, fish card, fish card. Yeah, it's, it's not too hard. I remember as a... <clears throat> oh my gosh. I remember... Oh my gosh, my voice is dying. Ah! I remember as a kid, I used to struggle so much. Because you'd used to... Like, you'd usually have, like, a real, like, high one there. You can't do a jump. And you have to get your jump right at the end. That's the tricky part. The object of desire, the fish card. That's the secret. I don't care about beating us. I care about getting the random fish card in the middle of the level. Great! You won a fish card! That should- okay, I know we've gotten sea urchins before. Leap the beak. So, eventually, you're going to have to actually nail the jumps. Eventually. This fish be eating. This fish is eating. So, I guess, visually, while we're waiting for the tides to roll, it gives me a moment to peer over onto my other monitor and see the, uh, the Game Award nominees, and we can have a- have a chat about that. But, uh, my overall feeling is, uh, I know some people are very, very cynical about the Game Awards. And I think that the idea of Game Awards- actually, I should bring up the Golden Joysticks as well, because that also just happened, and that probably is a good counterpoint to mention. Um... But the Game Awards, and I guess Game Awards in general, are always different. So, um, I've sort of been talking about this. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we gotta, we gotta nail this jump. There we go. Look at that golden joysticks. They are, yes. You, you are completely correct about that. And, um, I think the idea of hyper-commercialization, oh my gosh, it's all blue. Uh, hi, I would like to see the actual winners. Golden Joysticks, watch the show. I'd like to know who won. Winners. Can I find winners? Uh, oh well, look at that big, that big mound there. I think I gotta, you gotta bounce it. Here we go. All the jo Golden Joysticks winners. New announcement. Yes, okay. So, the big thing definitely is, uh, having announcements. There you go. See, look at that. You gotta nail your jump. You gotta nail it, or else you won't you won't make it. Uh, the big thing about the Game Awards, uh, the specific, you know, the, the Spike Game Awards, like the the one that used to be that, uh, is obviously yes, new announcements and new games. Um, always exciting. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh uh, no, we're dead. We are dead. <laughs> see what I mean? They get you. They get you here. This one's tricky. Oh, still dead. It's tricky, it's tricky. 
Um, but yeah, the, the main thing is the, the commercialization is just like seeing new games get announced and then it's like, oh, you know, like, what, what games are coming out by the next Game Awards, um, that kind of angle. Um, I would love for Game Award, uh, ceremonies to be simultaneously a celebration of the medium itself, as well as also the cool technology and things people do to make cool games, and also, ugh, and also, this one's tricky, man. This one's real tricky. I'm putting this as a 10-pointer, whoever does the set. Um, as well as also, uh, I guess, a, um, a celebration of just games as a whole. What makes games amazing? What do people love about them? And what sort of unites the gamer community? Now, with all that said, I don't think the Game Awards... The, the Spike Award ones. I don't think that really captures this anymore. And I sort of feel like, especially this year, we've sort of seen a bit of a decline in gaming over the past few years. Um, I don't think it's a permanent decline, but I've always sort of been thinking that games are very unsustainable as a medium right now. I think it has before, maybe. We used to have some more exciting years, and I think that there were some fun more organic things out of the Game Awards. We're not going to have a guy talk about, uh, uh, shout-outs to Bill Clinton's rabbi. Unfortunately, oh, that's a, that's a deep... We, oh, we still got, we got zero lives, okay. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like, I think there's probably a lot of just like, oh, okay, it's highly timed, highly, you know, coordinated. I, nah. Seriously, this level just kicks your butt. You want to keep on playing? No. Oh my gosh, 500. Jeez. Okay. Um, I am, well, I am, I am impatient as well. But it is hard. It doesn't quite Not control quite like you I'm expect. Gonna draw this flower. Tim, that's not a flower. It's an animal called a sea anemone. Technically, uh, all plants like are animals. Well, they're not animals because they don't have animal cells, but like, cells in them to capture they're the organisms. Egg. What's going on Me here, by the way? Said that sea squirts draw water in sea squirts? Is that a real thing? And filter plankton out to eat. Oh, that hermit crab is too big oh. for a shell. Uh, so we with that, the home. actual Game Award nominees this year... My research, need a a lackluster. Whenever it gets too big for its shell, it just finds an empty shell with a better fit and moves right in. Okay. Oh, there goes... Looks like I can't get enough fun in the sun. Back to the beach. Back to the, the beach? Not the beach. Hold on, I didn't click on the... The starfish. That's clearly the, the clue. Yeah, the biggest points. Uh, Balatro and Tree. Yeah, I... I will definitely say I don't think anything in the game of the year doesn't deserve the praise for this year. The, sh the bus looks a bit small, doesn't it? Or it's a very big beach. Oh, no, it's a small bus. It was a small bus. <laughs> Gosh, every single sound effect used in one go. I love it. Okay, uh, back to there and let's not bail like we did. Um, but yeah, everything in the Game of Year category, uh, Astrobot, Balatro, Black Myth Wukong, Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and Metaphor Refantasio. I will say, and I think I mentioned, I've never heard of metaphor re Fantasio until now which means I'm definitely out of the loop because I feel like a lot I know I know but I'm out of the loop because I just don't know like I've just it's just not come up in my circles also yeah click on the the Did you see what I saw? that daisy brittle star just lost an arm oh my gosh daisy brittle stars can cast off an arm seized by a predator that way, the predator gets it. I know it's yeah. I I looked off. I was like, oh, okay, I get it. Right, you are. Oh. A daisy brittle star can cast off an arm. That's where is where you at? If the brittle star manages to escape, it grows its arm back. What could the next clue be? This fish is protected from predators in the sea by the stinging cells of the sea anemone. Wow, I wonder what that is. So, yeah, so your goal is you gotta click on things somewhere and you get your three clues and that'll eventually lead you to your treasure, so. We do- oh, do we actually ha was it there? 
When I get home, I'm gonna draw this flower. No, that's not. Jim, a... that's not a flower. It's an animal called a sea anemone. Wait. Those things that look like petals are tentacles with stinging cells in them to capture its prey. It's not this, is it? Or that? Or oh, that? that hermit I was expecting like a clownfish or something, Can't or we jellyfish. Find it a new home? According to my research, it doesn't need our help. Whenever it gets oh, well. too um, but yeah, no, I I do feel bad because I'd never heard of it. Um, but I think that's just. Yeah, yeah, true. We'll do some looking around. Um. Hi. This bus sure comes in sandy when we want to travel the ocean. Boo. <laughs> I didn't study for the test, nah. No. I'll need to learn about tides. Tides aren't the same everywhere. That's because land and the depth of the ocean basins affect tide. In some places in the, like the Mediterranean Sea, there isn't much difference between high Watch and low Watch out, tide. it's coming at us. But in other places, like the Bay of Fundy in Canada, the tide can rise over 50 feet. Dude, that's some fun, like... <laughs> Like time lapse going on. Tidal waves, which are also called tsunamis, don't actually have anything to do with tides. They are caused by eruptions or earthquakes under the ocean. Sometimes tidal waves travel for thousands of miles before they break onto the shore, often causing a lot Dude, of. Dude, I always envied like textbooks that were yellow. Tides are the steady rising and falling have, like, boring of the water white on paper. the shore. They are caused by the moon and sun. Pulling water into bulges on different sides of the earth. As the earth rotates, a beach will pass through two bulges in 24 hours. So, it will go through two high tides and two low tides each day. Hey, we play Pokemon Sapphire. We know about this. And there he is. Good old Ani. Uh, that's our game if we wanted. Look at that thing. To our science prac. Come on, take some chances. What? Okay, I'm clicking on things. There we go. Okay, let's see how much uh, you know about the animals. But yeah, no, I think they all deserve game of the year. I I click definitely would lean towards Astro Bot, but I've also not played any of them, so I don't really then have a click on the red handle. Like, I don't really care who wins, <laughs> but I don't think any of them are bad games. Upper? Middle or lower zone. Low if zone. you're right, oh my it gosh. stays. If not, you get to try again. Okay. So what are we doing? We just go like, oh, give me a middle zone. All right, give me, a, give me, a, give me an upper zone. Give Limp me. It. A... Limp it. Limp it. All right, how many lipids have we got? Limp it. How many lipids we got? Limp it. Okay, the starfish goes in the middle, I guess. Sea star. Dog well. Oh, he goes in the in the middle, I guess. Then all right. Twelve. Uh, scale yeah, one. yeah. There's a lot of RPGs. Um, I guess yeah, like Astro Bot's the only. Balatro is uh, maybe I don't know. I thought that's a uh, just more of a a roguelike, but also uh, it's a card game. It's got it's a uh, fun little fun little twist on it all. Nudie branch. Dog there we well. go. There we go. We did it. Middle zone. Yeah, yeah, true. It's got RPG elements, yeah. Um, so if I guess a click reset, it's just... Ah, okay, do it again. Do it again. Great experiment. Um, now, the weird part about the Game Awards, I thought, was the fact that we have a best game direction category. And I've complained that a lot of... Yeah, no Nintendo game. Although, to be fair, what Nintendo games do we have? We've definitely got Zelda. And it's kind of it. I think Mario Party's all right, but I don't know if it's Game of the Year um, material every time. You know, uh, the Peach game I don't think is Game of the Year material either. Um, Brothership, yeah. I did hear, I did hear like IGN gave, giving it a five out of ten, and then some comments are like, yeah. I kind of get that, but also, I don't know, I think it's probably a bit mixed. Like, some people are loving it, some people just not as much. Oh, let's not dress up Carlos. 
We gotta do our our little little screen prac. Yeah, true. Can't spell ignorant without the IGN. I don't know who at IGN wrote that review, so I would love to understand the um the. Hang on, wait a minute. I've seen this prac before. Okay, I guess we'll just whiz on to the next place. Cause yeah, how many places we got? We got three, four, five, six, seven. We're back at the beach, so it's actually not as many places as you're probably expecting. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, like a dragon, yeah. In fact, actually, most of these releases are January, February releases, and I think that's probably why we may be forgetting about a lot of them. It's just like how early they came out, but I do think best game direction is now a worthless category because best game direction has gone to the game of the year in quite a lot of like years past. And now it's all six of the same game. They're, they're all six the same games as Game of the Year. What is the difference? Whales have lungs, like other mammals, so they have to come up to the surface of the water for air. When diving and hunting for food in the deep ocean, a sperm whale can hold its breath for up to two hours. <laughs> is that it? I always said sperm whales were full of hot air. Ooh. Spinner dolphins are quite acrobatic. Ooh, they difference. can leap out of the water and spin several times. Yeah, in the best air DLC would have been a good category. Um, Ugh, I wish they'd stop. But yeah, I, the big one for me. Dizzy. <sighs> making me dizzy. The big one for me. I'm not against like DLC being best game of the year. And if you go back, 2016's best RPG of the year was to The Witcher 3's DLC. Um, was it Blood and Wine? Was that what it was? I haven't played The Witcher 3. Sorry, but that went to that over other RPGs of 2016. Which uh, hold on, let me let me just kick that in just try and search for that yeah uh 2016 yeah i went to that over deus ex mankind divided which i thought was okay um uh world of warcraft legion which is an expansion so does that count as dlc as well uh xenoblade x which has a remaster now maybe people will realize that i think it's probably in the same boat as mankind divided and dark souls 3 which i think a lot of people have retroactively loved a, a ton um, like way more. I think a lot of people will probably say, "Oh, Dark Souls Three should have won it," but maybe at the time, I don't know. Witcher Three seems all right. Yeah, yeah, it's from soft. Like they sort of have a have a, the fastest a ocean god tier. Is the sail Can't say anything bad about them. its prey, it can speed along at sixty-eight miles an hour. Oh my god! They have to be careful though, because they could get a ticket for speeding. Some whales do something called breaching, which consists of leaping out of the water and falling back with a big splash. When they really get going, some will do dozens of breaches in a few minutes. That sounds like a whale of a good time to me. Hey, he did it. He did it. He did it. So, um, but yeah, other games that you may, may see in the, the Game of the Year category, or the, the Game Awards category, you got Best Narrative, which uh, throws in, yeah, Like a Dragon and uh, Silent Hill 2. Uh, Best Art Direction throws in Never, which is uh, the follow-up game from the, the Gris Studio, I believe. Uh, best score in music has uh, Stella Blade, which uh, has a few mentions around. Uh, audio design has Senua's Saga Hellblade 2, which I'm shocked that that game got so much screen time at the last Game Awards. And then, I'm, and then everyone I, I know who played it was like, it's a great technology demo. <laughs> like, they like the game somewhat, but... Uh, mm for for as long as it lasted and that was it so um that's fair uh cod black ops 6 i hear it's good yeah the first one i he heard good stuff as well yeah but good stuff not like you know like i guess this is the thing there's good games that came out this year but we're not in 2004 or 2001 there are some years with insane amounts of groundbreaking games and we may potentially be in a year where like there's only one of them yeah i i'd still say that like games are in a much more perfected kind of state than they used to be look at that sailfish go sailfish they can swim as fast as 68 miles an hour yeah i, I definitely say like yeah all these games are still good it's just that Even cars i'm not sure if they have that 2004 legacy i do hear great things about astrobot though also Okay. Look at that sailfish go! Did I, did I really click on that twice? No, I clicked on the beach. Ah! Uh. <laughs> there he goes. He's going back to the beach. The animation's fun though. 
It's worth seeing the animation of the bus coming back out. Uh, I mean, I'm just looking at the other games. Uh, best indie game, which, uh, yeah, has a few. Animal Well, seen that one floating around. Uh, debut indie games. Debut indie game is almost always, like, the same category. There's usually only, like, one or two games that are, you know, not in there. Um, now here comes the, the categories that I find are a bit more contentious. Uh, we have, uh, best ongoing game, which has always been, like, an interesting category because usually that implies me of, like, oh, you know, a game that's got lots of good support after launch. Does that mean DLC? In some cases, it does. We have Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail and Diablo IV Vessel of Hatred and Destiny 2 The Final... Uh, was it The Final Shape? But we have Fortnite, which I guess you could say... Night Souls or stuff. So true, true. Blue whales eat krill by filling their throats with enough water to fill 50 um, bathtubs. And also Helldivers 2, which makes me scratch my head and go, that came out this year. I guess it's ongoing in the sense of it's a game that is trying to be a game as a service game, but ongoing in the same breath as Fortnite is interesting. And Fortnite's a curious one because Fortnite is now including all the like extra stuff. Check out that orca. Wow. Orcas, or killer whales, are the largest members of the dolphin family. We meant to be calling them killer whales anymore. Whales that have teeth instead of baleen. They're not really whales that a much. A Portuguese man of war is actually a colony of many tiny individuals, all living together. Oh. One man of war can have right. as many as 1,000 um, individuals. And then to go over to the best community support, we have Baldur's Gate 3, which I think people would say, yeah, the community support's great. Final Fantasy 14, it's great. Fortnite's uh, interesting, depending on how you view it. Helldivers 2, which is... <coughs> had great community support for a bit. And No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky has been nominated for the fifth year in a row. Now it's time to get small and check out the plankton down here. Plankton. Oh my gosh, here I go. Uh, no Man's Sky has been on this list for five years in a row, and as much as I think that it's been doing good ongoing stuff, although it's not in the ongoing category also. We are in the plankton camp. That's right. Put together these puzzle pieces to make an animal, and you'll win a fish card. Click and drag the pieces to move them. <laughs> Click and drag and pieces. And you can rotate as well. Very nice. Um, Fortnite, I feel like, is never going to get the mention if it, like, if it doesn't win here. Um, for, <laughs> for reference, I, I know you know, Fetty, but, like, Fortnite added in Guitar Hero, or Rock Band. Uh, I love underwater music. I would just listen to this for days, man, I'll tell ya. At least the pieces lock in, so you know they're, they're right at some point. <laughs> Tiny robot wife, yes. Is this what they actually look like? They have these, like, really fun textures. What do I do about these two things? Oh. No, they're dead! You won a fish card! But I did get a dun 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 I know you did that earlier, but... Alright, here we go. Can we... Can we design him? We can rebuild him. We have the technology. Uh, somewhere there. There you go. Um... It's... You're telling me a shrimp fried this rice? Hey, he's over there on, on the side, reference photo, so... Yeah, ongoing game's a bit of an interesting one, because I would have thought ongoing game is the DLC category, but it seems that, like, you know, Elden Ring isn't there. So, okay, sure, yeah. But then, like, other DLCs aren't in this list. Um, most of the other categories also, like, you know, pretty stock standard. You got your best VR game, which is like, I, I'm very out of the loop on what's VR anymore, unfortunately. Um, best action game is sort of like most of the ones we mentioned already. It's got um, Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 in there. Um, uh, action Adventure has Star Wars Outlaws, which I hear is uh, not an amazing game. It's fine. 
they took out all the stealth. Or made it not optional. Sorry, I don't I don't want to mischaracterize it. They patched out all the stealth requirements. So now, the reason why you do stealth in some games is because you either get rewarded for it, and the reason why you go loud is because you want to have fun. And, uh... Yeah, it's, it's a bit odd to have that there. Yeah, VR games are uh, too far gone now. I, d I think VR has missed its opportunity to sort of get picked up. Um, it might still come back. Valve's tried their best, but... Yeah, I... I think it's hard to convince people that VR is, like, crazy good if they haven't gotten into it already. I think it's more a curiosity thing if you've Caring just see a cheaper pleasure. headset. Yeah, exactly. Great! You won a fish card! You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. There he is. Look at this big part of a fish. See, I think the tune is a bit easier to deal with, though. Is that his, his lip? It is his lip. Yeah. Yeah. It... Far Cry 3 gives you experience to stealth. That's the reason why you do the stealthing. Um, same thing with uh, Deus Ex. Like, it's really not the most fun to, to like, stealth all the time. Tuna's eat herring. Great! You won a fish card! Yeah, oh, exactly, exactly. It was like Skyrim, but with guns. Tuna. Tuna. Oh, I did the tuna. What is this? These, like, shapes are, like, iconic to me. They're burned into my memory. I just spend, like, hours, like, just doing this. Just be like, ooh. Ooh. What fish will I discover now? And I think that's the fun part about these kinds of games. <laughs> where, where are these nominees for Game of the Year, you know? Where's my magic school bus? Yeah, I hope people do like Astrobot, though, for Game of the Year. Um... But I'm always curious if you'll ever, like, you know, it doesn't really matter for the Game Awards, whatever wins. Because there's also, like, there's lots of games that get snuffed. I continually note that the Talos Principle 1 and 2 both never got nominees. Uh, Factorio's DLC and the original release of Factorio didn't get nominees. Uh, Satisfactory didn't get a nominee. You want to know what Satisfactory did win, though? It won the Golden Joystick for Best PC Game. Like, like, not saying, oh, it's a popularity content, because it, it is. That's the biggest criticism we can have of the Game Awards, other than it, how overly commercialized it is, is also the fact that despite being a game for gamers by, sorry, a show for gamers by gamers, it certainly is a sh award show driven by journalists who may or may not have quite, you know, played the swath of games uh, that they're voting on. And that's perfectly fine and understandable, but I think also as well, like, that's a big fault of this whole show, is like, everyone is gonna feel like games get snuffed, because games that they do like or did enjoy playing won't show up, and that's always, always a problem with a show like this. So to that, I would then say, uh, thank you person on the Fetty who asked the question of, what was the best game you played this year? Doesn't necess it doesn't have to come out this year, but everyone has bound to have played a game that they had never played before until this year. And you'll probably have, like, ah, ah. Incredible. Incredible. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. <laughs> uh, everyone is bound to have played a game that they played, you know, this year that's just like, no, I get it. I that That's my game of the year. Not necessarily a game that came out, but just, it's the first time that you've played it. And you'd be like, yeah, that's that's it. So, for me, that's Choro Q Wonderful, which we'll get to in 2027, because I'm playing one Choro Q game a year, and unfortunately that's how, that's how it's going to take. What are we doing here? How fast a fish can you design? To find out, select a tail Why is your fish How designed after a 50 caliber bullet? And a body shape. Age of Mythology retold. Yeah, like, I think 
you that should your not saying that's like the real cool. award ceremony because when obviously you, you got to credit the things that come out in a year. Light. Otherwise, I you're literally going to have you know the Steam Awards where Counter Strike wins Labor of Love every year. But I think that's also one where the Game Awards doesn't necessarily have its bat its um barriers really like set out very much. Like, if best ongoing game can have a game from this year, and DLC can be in any category whenever, why are we not including more games all over the place? Or, you know what I mean? Um, here's a fun one as well. Uh, did anyone notice Multiverses has been nominated for best fighting game, after winning best fighting game in 2022? Are we just casually gonna let that, like, you know, are we letting that happen? But like, I'm not really designing a fish, I'm more just picking them, but sure. Alright, come on, pointy fish. Do it. Do it. Do it. Go. Ah, oh, lame fish. What a lame fish. He only did it in 43. That was a lame fish. Oh, no, no, no. I want to go back. Just reboot. Okay, that's not the reboot button, but sure. The fastest fish is probably this one. Yeah, Tekken 8 came out this year. Um, <laughs> Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics also brings up that fun question of are remasters allowed? Yes, <laughs> because, because occasionally a remaster gets into the award ceremony. See, Advance Wars 1 and 2 last year, by the way. Um, is there a quick way? Hold on, there you go, build fish button. Oh yeah, this is just a tie at this point. I guess it counts as a win? Uh, the other fighting games are uh, Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising and Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero. I am not a fighting game guy. I will not opine on any of them other than the general idea of multiverses being in two uh, Team Award ceremonies. And potentially being able to win that. Potentially. I don't know. Let's visit another part of the water. Alright, come on. Can you kelp me? Is he gonna do that? Octopuses and, and squids wo can change their color. They use these changing colors to communicate to each other. I wonder if they use loud colors to yell at each other. Nice. Okay, cool. I'm glad I clicked on the blank piece of paper and it's like, yeah, no. <laughs> it's all over now. Some sea cucumbers protect themselves by spitting their insides out at their attackers. Can you mention While sea enemies pickles? snack on their guts, the sea cucumber gets away. They grow back all the lost parts. I guess it takes a lot of guts to be a sea cucumber. Nice. Giant kelp grows as fast as one foot in a day. Where do they get the shoes for all those feet? Ooh. A single kelp plant might support more than 500,000 animals. It must be very strong. <laughs> sure, yeah. yeah. Alright, let me out into the water. Um, yeah, I, I, don't know, I don't think there's really anyone. Other than uh, best sports and racing game is a really lame category this year. It's full of annual franchises and no one actually released like a unique sport or racing game. It's all just... It's all just, you know, it's F1, it's EA Sports Football Club, it's NBA, it's Top Spin, and uh, WWE. Top Spin doesn't usually get the mention, because usually it's the other ones that end up on top, but it's like, man, we're not saying anything with sports games. So I could I could click on this guy for hours, I'll tell you. that giant kelp is in a lot of food we eat? Like ice cream? No way. Really? See? The giant kelp makes algin, which is like a gel. Algin helps to keep foods like ice cream, cheese, and cake frosting smooth. Is this a real fact? It also prevents them from drying out. And before the, the FDA go, oh snap, no. <laughs> Let's get little. Oh yeah, yeah, get Here it's sometimes a December game makes it through. Sometimes you will get a December game, like uh, potentially Fortnite is counting because of the se the December releases. Um, but yeah, I always will eternally note, Talos Principle getting snuffed. Not being mentioned after a December release. Talos Principle 2 was an August release. No release. Anton Volk? Yeah, exactly. 
to, where are we? The end of Phantasmagoria 2? One day. One day we'll get there. I realize most of the horror games I've played are like point and click games. Yo! Some kelp plants have balloons filled with gas. They help the blades float near the surface of the water so they can hang out in the sun. Oh. Okay. Um, oh, oh, the other one I want to mention is uh, Best Sim Strategy Game uh, has Unicorn Overlord. Now, I was thinking to myself, isn't Unicorn Overlord an RPG? A strategy RPG, but an RPG nonetheless. Why is it not competing in the role-playing game? I believe, I don't think a Game Award has ever had a game overlap genres for these kinds of things. They have to be in one of them. And for consistency reasons, um, uh, Fire Emblem has always been in the strategy category, and it's actually won in the strategy strategy category before. So perhaps strategy RPG should be in the strategy category. It's a weird category because it has to compete against um, Frostpunk and Age of Mythology, and I'm like, we are like, this is a bit of a weird category to be like fighting in. But I would also then say, uh, Triangle Strategy was in the RPG category when it was nominated. Kelp! Kelp! <laughs> Do we have a game chilling here or we're just. Yo! Some kelp plants have balloons filled. We're just kelping. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's very hard to just say strategy. In the same way as, like, action includes shooters now. Although there's not many fir first person shooters. We only have Call of Duty. And the only other first person shooter, um,. That we uh, that really came out this year that I can even think of is Concord, which uh, oh boy, Are we, we're gonna where's our Concord mention? Yeah, it is. It is. It does have a turn-based um, strategy vibe. I, I would definitely say as a strategy RPG, there's a good overlap. I'd say you can compete on your art strategy elements. I just think it's curious because it's competing against simulation games, which are not the same uh, as well. Yeah. A strategy tag got uh, useless on Steam. Yeah, oh, exactly. If it's if it's just like a turn-based game, if it's Dragon Quest, it shouldn't count. Oh, dude. He's talking about ice cream again. When a vanilla way game. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, I I'd probably say like depends on how you view it. I think there's a lot of RPG. Knowing that things are growing. That's right. It was down here the whole time. Also, did we get the clue? Hold on, did we get the clue? This fish is. This fish is. This fish is protected from predators in the sea by the stinging cells of the sea anemone. Uh, Alright, the fish is somewhere down here. Do we, do we got clickly, clickly, quick, quickly click. As I always say, there's no fun like the sun, for a kelp plant, that is. Imagine a worm that gets eaten by a crab, then that crab gets eaten by an octopus. That's the food chain. I'm terrified by the hey, food chain. it's abalone. Some people yeah, really it's... Delicious. And that's no baloney. It's, uh, it's an overused, uh... Category. Garbage like this can kill marine animals. No, we don't kill the fish the with your clean. beer packs. We don't actually distribute <laughs> that anymore. It's all paper these days, and it always tears. People used to hunt sea otters for their fur. They even became an endangered species. But now they're. I think the, the, the biggest law. thing with like Civ Five is that you don't role play. But role playing is and such I a generic say, term. Like, there's, there's so many no games like, like all over the, the place where it's like you are a role, and even if you say like. Well, okay, it's just a story with a person. I wonder what this part of the kelp plant does. Look close. Wanna play the kelp diving game? Kelp diving game? Oh, actual game? Actual game going on? Oh, she's just going. She's she's going. She's out of here. Here we go. What a mess! Let's clean up the kelp forest and save the animals too. Move me with the mouse. Then click on the garbage to make me bag it. And watch out for the kelp plants, because they'll slow me down! Okay. Easy enough. 
So like you go over the plant and you just hit the plant. Oh, you gotta not <laughs> not get caught by nets. Alright, I see. Oh, oh, that fish died. That fish died for our sins. Oh, snap, what? Fish card. Great, you won a fish card. <laughs> Darn can holders. But yeah, it, I guess that's the thing is that like categorization is always tricky. So sometimes I, I think of it just like in terms of Oh, I can catch that, okay. But sometimes I just think of like, you know, perhaps you can give awards based on very abstract categories. Like, you know, best, uh, like, direction's sort of very broad, but just something like, um... Like, what's, what's something that we could do? You know, like, be best, best, uh, you know, like, I guess, yeah, best soundtrack is always one, and, and, and audio design is, is always one. I'd sometimes say as well, like, best uh, interactive kind of narrative, where it's not necessarily what's written, but about how the player interacts, which is very broad, but I think that you could probably have a lot of fun games just go in that category. It's similar to how, like, you know, the Oscars has, like, best makeup. And I'm like, every movie's got makeup. You know what I mean? <laughs> but now we have a category where Suicide Squad can win. You know, like, there's tons of, tons of potential out of stuff like that. Um, now, Golden Joystick does also do just, like, best game on platform, which usually leans towards exclusives, but isn't necessarily, because if we, uh, click on Great. these you awards, it's like, best, that. uh, actually, do they have, yeah, oh, they just have console game, and Helldivers is the console game. The get's only very technically not, <laughs> yeah, true, there's always that. There's always that. Um... Oh my gosh! Don't drop the beer! Ugh! Ah, oh, he vaporized! This is very <laughs> awkward to click around. Um, I'd also argue that things like, um, Great. Critic- <laughs> Hold on, card. there's a Critic's Choice. Uh, in, in the Golden Joysticks where, um, was it Critic's Choice? That went to Helldivers too. Um, the Game Awards is the inverse, where there's a Player Choice Award that hasn't been nominated yet. Because, uh, players are voting for what games they liked, but... It's gonna be interesting if that category varies so wildly from... You know, basically all these critic categories, because it's 90% critic vote. The critics are gonna overrule anything, like, you know what I mean? They'll make it somewhat audience-driven, but only somewhat. Great! You won a fish Uh... Also, yeah, part of this category as well, uh, the Still Playing Award, which I guess is their ongoing game equivalent, uh, has Minecraft on the console and PC and Honkai Star Rail on the mobile, which is like, oh yeah, no mention of that. I think there's like one game, uh, by them, because they do release like lots of games, but just curious that like Genshin Impact is not an ongoing game anymore, but Diablo 4 is. Diablo 4 is always interesting because, uh, um, I, I haven't played it, so I can't tell you if it's pay to win, but given that the richest man in the world <laughs> gets to wow, win that game quite easily, leads me to a bit of suspicion. I always think that's a bit of a fun point. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, uh, Team Asobi won Studio of the Year, uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth won Soundtrack and Storytelling, and Astro Bot for Audio Design, and then ultimately I think Game of the Year went to, uh, Black Myth Wukong for them. Um, but yeah, Golden Joystick is, uh, that's, um, fa oh my gosh, it was barely on screen there. Uh, that's all, um, vote-driven, that's all just community-driven, and I always think it's good fun that, like, that seems to work out in a nice way for... You know, different categories getting driven by different, um... You know, di di different metrics and categories. It's always good fun. I think that's ultimately the, the goal of a game award ceremony. It's not necessarily like a, I'll oh, advertise our next game and all that. Because, uh, it's always a bit of a risk of, like, will, um, for example, Pekora win, uh, Community Creator of the Year? Because Kojima likes Pekora. 
Yeah, <laughs> literally on the, on the on the topic. I, I was gonna mention. I do not know that many uh, content creators just in general, and I always I always say it's like oh like I make content, I don't consume it as much. That manta ray consumed that though. Exactly the pecker brain cell. Oh, that big that. Oh my gosh, these these fish are dead. These fish are goners. Come on, grab it. Grab it. Grab it. I'm just sitting on top of it. It's still there, I think. Oh, it's, I phased it out of existence. Oh, there's just a random beer bottle there. That's why. I'm sorry, it's green. It blends in with the ocean. Great minds think alike. Exactly. Exactly. You just won another fish card. But I also think that, like, yeah, there's, there are some games this year that I think people will still enjoy. Balotro, great fun. I think I've, I uh, speak for a lot of people where it's just like, yep, it's just addicting good stuff. I still think Factorio got snuff because it's also not mentioned in this. Uh, also, best game adaptation is always an interesting category because I feel like best game adaptation is less about the qualities of the game and more the qualities of the narrative behind the game. That's why we don't have a best game adaptation for, um, you know, Metroid, because Metroid wow, is sort of, it really works. Another fish card. Another fish card. Do our behind the voice actor, but most likely it's probably just a, uh, I was going to say Canadian. I don't know if the voicing is uh, all Canadian driven. It's probably all US, actually. I mean, it's a US based show, right? We don't have shows like the Magic School Bus anymore, though, I'll tell ya. Don't get kids excited for learning. Uh, this is a... Is it a Phoebe? I think it's a Phoebe. It's been years. It's been decades. I'm sorry. You want a fish card? If I ever do emotes for just being like fish card, that's that's the emote. You gotta be. Do you have to be a Twitch affiliate to do all that? You just won another fish card. It's pain. I would love to actually have emotes that people could then use in YouTube comments. That'd be cool. If you host your own Fetty instance, make fish card a thing on your own Fetty, because I don't think you can use other people's emotes as well. You have to. You have to use your own. I think there's going to be enough dead fish. Might be hard to keep it all all good, so... Ugh! Just get the fish! Get the... Well, don't actually get the fish. Get the things. I'm standing right on them. I'm clicking it. I'm clicking it. We're getting it. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I don't think I really said a lot about the Game Awards, but uh, hopefully uh, there's not a lot of weird Jeff Keighley antics going on. We passed 69. We did it. Great! You won a fish card. Dolphin. Uh, but yeah. I will say Factorio still is good fun, but play Charaku Wonderful if you haven't, because I'm gonna spoil it all on stream in in two and a bit years. I was actually going through with a with a mate about um all the games <laughs> like want to play in it for next year and I realize uh, that I don't have a great idea oh okay we're done Blendy B we did it we did it how was dolphin spelled oh I'm not too sure that fanfare is making me very proud of my 77 do you want to keep on playing that is a dead fish though how is Cherokee one? Oh, Charo Q wonderful. I did it. I did it. One day I'll get to the top though. I'll get to the top. Um, so Charo, like, uh, Charo Q, just the Q is on its own. Wonderful. Yeah. Penny races. Yes. I should have said penny races, but, uh, Char Charo Q 2 and 3 never came out of Japan, and then Wonderful came out afterwards, and Charo Q Wonderful is one of the most insane adaptations into an open world game, and it's so amazing. I love it. It's it's an incredible game. 
It's like, I just get it. It, it makes so much more sense. So much sense. Check you this out. Tuned into Kelp TV. See those pictures on the bottom? Click on one and make it appear on the big screen. Then move your mouse over the screen and watch what uh, happens. The translations existed for a bit, but the set was recent. The set was at the beginning of the year. Oh, check out this, man. We're in lockstep. Dude, I could sleep to this, man. Oh, oh, oh. I was like, that was a smooth transition. That was a smooth transition. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Um, yeah, since ROM hacking got shut down, yeah. Hopefully someone's got an alternative site, and honestly, GitHub ain't too bad. GitHub is a, is a very good way of getting some of this stuff out, because GitHub rarely will take down, like, projects like that. You have to be really violating copyright before that starts to be a thing. They fought for YouTube DL. Yeah, I could just look at this for hours, man, I tell ya. Fish. What are our songs? I think we just have water sounds. I'm not talking about the best place to release translation. Oh, the best place to learn about the translations. Hmm. Arguably, I'd probably actually say retro treatments may be one of the best places. My jam. Oh, I should put one of these on my intermission music playlist, I'll tell you. Ah, oh, there you go. See, I'm moving my mouse over the screen. That's why it's so hard to, like, observe. You can pause it. It's so hard to, like, visibly observe it. Ah. Oh. The frame rate is horrendous, but it is also, like, worth it. Who runs the world? Fish. Fish. Who runs the world? Fish. Yeah, exactly. Dude, I could actually- Oh, I should actually find some, like, peak new age. Just, like, some, like, complete music to just, like, listen to. Don't. Cry. I am just a fish. What am I looking at here? What is this? Oh, the mollusks. What about this one? Oh my gosh. Don't put your face up to the monitor and look at this, man. You will actually go blind. What on earth? Whoa. Alright, this is just abstract now. Yeah, sometimes you get an antiquated UI. I feel like I'm about to go to like a 90s web design kind of class, you know? Not the Mario 64 ROM hacking. Which one was the one you're thinking of? Or I'm thinking of. Which one am I thinking of? Come on, everyone. Let's grow a kelp plant and find out how conditions like temperature, wave action, and the ocean floor... Give me that wave action. Growth. Click on the fans and the conveyor belts to see what happens. Get so some sand on him. Give him some rocks. He loves rocks. He loves it. Drop the temperature. It's too hot. Uh. There you go. There you go. Isn't he? 
Ó. Oh. Can, can we figure out? I think, feel like you just gotta give him everything. Neo ROM hacking or Neo Wooden. I feel like kelp grows the best when it's not in. I'm not oh. The water is getting colder. Maybe the sun is good for it. He likes rocks. Let's Who knows? See if kelp grows better on rocks. It's probably lots of wind. Bit of sediment. Let's see if kelp grows better on rocks. Oh, sediment or rocks. Oh, it probably grows better on sediment. Right? No, not at all. Romhacking.net. Just look at those waves. I don't know, I think that's probably the high. He's not gonna peek up the top, is he? Nah. Oh well. We'll leave it at that there. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, I, I think I missed a... I may have missed a class report, we'll see. Kelp plants have three main parts. I like my kelp. A fast, the stipe, and the blades. I don't I don't eat enough seaweed. Like and by enough I mean at all. It holds fast to the bottom. Have it on so sushi, that's it. Does not float away. The stipe, which looks like a tree trunk, grows up through the water cool. so the it's blades like can get more sunlight. Salty thing Some stipes exists under have the special water, you know? balloons filled with gas which helps the blades float the up the gas the sunlit waters. I don't know about <laughs> the blades of a kelp are like leaves where photosynthesis takes place, and where nutrients are absorbed from the water. Okay, well, what happened there? There are seaweeds called kelps, which grow to be bigger than many trees on land. See, the big trees! The giant kelp is a brown seaweed that can get to leafy be boys. 200 Very leafy. feet high. When lots of kelp plants grow near yeah. each other, no, I'm curious we what's like a kelp forest. What's the best way? Like the Someone will probably make a nice land, feed of just like things that are rom hacking, you know, like a like an RSS feed of just like, hey, this this is a thing. I saw it. Maybe like hacker news like or something, but for land, rom the hacking, kelp forest has three where it's mostly just linking out to other places. The kelp blades that float on the surface of the water form the canopy. The understory is made also, of seals smaller are awesome. kelp plants, which don't the greatest the animal under and Earth. The bottom is covered with algae and many other kinds of ocean life. Animals are found in every layer. A of link the kelp on Discord. Forest. No, that's fine. Very nice. So yeah, can I can I go through our other class reports? Coral reef. Well, we've seen the coral. Oh. Open ocean, tide pool, sandy beach. Ah, okay, there you go, yeah. I would have missed the deep sea vents class report. Alvin is a mid range submersible that operates. Titanic wasn't out yet, by the way, the movie, not the feet. ship. Since <laughs> I wish the Alvin has Sacabam Baspis was still right, yeah. Alvin is about yeah. 25 feet long I miss and it too. a pilot and two observers. Special arms allowed to take temperature and other readings and collect bottom samples. I love how this happens all the time. Like, Ocean Gate was like such a stunt. Like, not saying. That's a, that sounds a bit harsh, but you know what I mean? Where it's like the idea of doing tours just for tourism. It's like, that, that's. Pardon the pun, it's uncharted waters. It's, <laughs> it's uh, like, it's something that we don't really do, and I think that's the reason why. Also, hi, where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? Uh no. I'm gonna alt tab and it's gonna tab out again. Uh it panics on the video. It panics. One kind of hot vent is called a chimney. We've got two smoke. videos on this class With report. This kind of vent, jets of superheated water spew from the openings. When the hot water meets cold seawater, dissolved minerals like iron, copper, and zinc come out of the solution and build mineral chimneys. They can be as high as he didn't answer. feet. Another I, type of vent uh, is like to a be hot fair. water spring. The water escaping from no, I, 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 I've missed the reference. The I've missed the reference. So <laughs> I'm sorry. Gently and oh, it's clear. No. Sea vents occur along the mid ocean. Look ridge. it up. The underwater mountain range where the sea I'm floor is. I'm gonna do it. Spread. I'm gonna do it just for when you. When the sea floor pulls apart, hot lava rises from inside the earth to fill the gap. Oh. It cools down in the cold seawater, and the new crust cracks. 
I think I sea remember seeing this thing inside. in like the alien the movie. The water heats up and is forced back up, escaping through vents. It can get as hot as 700 degrees Fahrenheit. The hot water has so many happy. minerals and chemicals. You look in it, so happy, this guy. Including hydrogen sulfide. Bacteria use this chemical I'm to very make their own they just food chuck and become eyes. the base of a new food chain. <laughs> Screw it, Sacambambus. <laughs> I can't say his name that quick. Sacambambus for 2028 USA president. I want a real one, man. Can we like? I know like gene splicing is sort of frowned upon in some countries, but like. I would love to just bring him back. Just for fun captivity. It's the city they found the fossil and like, ah, okay. Right. So there we go. Alright, from the kelp forest to the big blue. Oh my gosh. Still got a few locations to spot. Yell at me before we leave to the next place if I miss something. I didn't talk to the the muscle. If I saw a giant squid and didn't know what it was, I'd probably squid out out of there in a hurry. <laughs> Boo. Oh. Is this the game? Welcome to the deep Oh, this one used to give me so much anxiety. To use your arrow keys to guide Luminessa. The Luminessa flashlight fish through the dark. Look for friends and treats, but beware of our enemies. Friends and enemies. So, okay, so you see what I mean? Where it's like, you're allowed to go on the ones that are, like, similar to you, but not the ones that, even though they're the same... Actually, they, I think the same shape is okay, but... It's got a very weird move of... Movement ability, I'll tell you that, though. Got that chill vibe, though. Who is my friend? Are you my friend? I guess you are. Don't touch- don't touch line boys. Line boys are bad. Strong bad is my favorite deep sea fangly fish. Dude, there's just a whole diamond down here under the water. Ah! Oh, snap, he's gone. We can still bring him back. Do we have... I mean, we've got evidence of him. He at least exists. Okay, we'll just, just scooch on past such that I'm not touching him. There you go. He's just gonna... It's very narrow. Congrats! You oh. won a fish card. There he is, the fish card. We just imagined the eyes were there as well. That's why I love it. It's that and space. It's like since it's so exotic, it's so far away that there's so many like, you know, like three D renditions of it, but not like actual renditions. You could. Grab all the things that are in the way. Or you could just go to the next screen. But I do want that diamond, I'll tell you that. There are 39 specimens of the this Bolivian species, all crammed into very confined areas, believed to be the result of a fish kill, probably due to the sudden inflow of fresh water from a large storm. They were found associated with a large number of lingild brachiopods. Brachiopods? Oh. Brachiopods, sorry. Also kill at the same time. My font is not very fun for the... The letter I apologize. I'm not, I'm, I'm not uh, exerting my... Uh... Oh, he is a redfish. He's very angry. What is this? That's an extra for you. Can't believe we got a dead end. Oh my gosh, can I actually leave here? Well, no, I've got to know who's my friends. Well, these guys are my friends, right? Oh. No, they're not. I guess he's a deep sea fangly fish, so you're my friend, and you're probably my friends because you're guppies. Okay, don't trust the lights; they're all lying to me. Congrats! The, the sack of bambus fish would be my friend. Yes, I'm starting to nail saying that name. It is. 
He's very big on the top. Motion in the deep ocean. That's right, they move now. Panic. The fish move. Oh snap, we gotta we gotta move it in quick. Uh, nope. We ain't we ain't scooched in there just yet. It is very hard to see if you're quite doing this right. It's like sorry, my rectangle is touching your rectangle. That's what I mean by like this gives me anxiety, because I'm just like you have no idea if you're quite doing it right. I have the fish card. I can taste it. I can taste the fish card. Ah, we're in Australia. We did it. We had your fish the whole time. Congrats. You won a fish card. But yeah, no, the, the ocean is a wonderfully exotic thing just because it's like, it really is like very undiscovered. We know, I think... Is, is, it, is it like a real statement where it's like we probably know more about like how space works than we do like under the ocean? In the same way as like we don't know about like how like the human body really works. Like, I mean we know a lot of things but like we got no clue about like the brain. Or well, not no clue because that, that sounds very, very pessimistic. But like there are so many undiscovered things and it's just like it's just literal like just animal habitat. Like not saying that's like... Un unheard of. It's like, oh, it's just the same as any other animal habitat, but like... That's an extra luminescent for you! You know, like, the ocean doesn't do anything too wacky that changes our, like, sense of, uh, understanding of the world, but there's so many, like, just things down there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You have to somehow design a thing that can go down there and take photos and stuff. Alright, can we scooch up and let him slide past? Let him just slide pa- oh. Yeah, okay, that's exactly what I wanted to do. I've, I've just taken the hit already. Come on, game. We did it, we're in the perfect position. You can't get us now. I found an animal that lives without breathing last year. Oh my gosh. See, yeah, yeah. The water is very bizarre. This card is purple, and I don't know if it's because it's rare. Wow, you just won another fish card. No, it's blue now, and I'm very certain we've seen this one. <laughs> We're gonna, I'm going to see my collection at the end, and we'll be like, what, what is going on here? I would definitely say oh, these games did. are a lot more... Oh boy, by the way. Oh boy. This is when someone goes, it lights up when you touch a friend. You should have been touching the friends the whole time. That's not a friend. How do I... <laughs> do we have a friend somewhere in the... Oh, take a hit, take a hit, guys. Oh, we had a friend somewhere in the middle there, yeah. They baited me. Nope. Nope. I'm just terrible at this game. Hold on. Here we go. Down here. Oh. Cause that's that's how awkward it is. And then he freezes for a bit. Not game overing on this one. We're not <laughs> It is Kaizo level, it is. Uh I don't quite oh okay, we'll go down here. Gosh, the positioning is very awkward though, I'll tell you that. Here's how we could still win. We could still do it. We could still pull it off. Very soon I played a Nancy Drew game that plays like this. It's got a little mini game that plays like this. Who is the friend? Who is the friend in this example? Okay, here we go. Straight in. Up. We go across. No, we, no, we go straight up to the top, sorry. Then we go across. Oh wait, no. Let's see you do it for the diamonds. I don't want the diamonds. I want to win. That's an extra luminescent for you. Okay. <laughs> I'm on edge, man. I'm on edge. I 
fish when it looks directly at you. I still got the sack of bambus fists on the other monitor. Card. Anyone watch the Las Vegas Grand Prix? His light will guide you. He will anglerfish guide us. Anyone see the Las Vegas Grand Prix on? Immerse yourself. Probably a. Uh... Oh boy! By the way, oh boy. I right, scooch. There we go. This is just a scooch period. Think about it, they, they voice acted the, um, the different level names as well on this one. They liked this one. Oh, what spiss means? I don't think I've seen a word with spiss in it in a long time. Yeah, no, oh, it's been a while, it's been a while. Yeah, we had a F1 Grand Prix in uh, Vegas, which is uh, the only time Australians, well actually not the only time, but pretty much uh, our actual Australian race, and uh, oh my gosh, and um, That's an extra luminescent for you. You think I can scooch past this guy or no? Nah, I'm gonna have to go up. Um. It's one of the only races us Australians can catch live because it was at 5 p.m. on a Sunday, which is actually a great time. But for the uh, Europeans, it's uh, not a great time for them. And they run late. They run late hey, at Brad, Vegas. You want a fish so it car. catches all the Americans off as well. It's like, oh, okay, sure. Um, yeah, no, it was an alright race. This, this year has been pretty actually alright. There's been some kind of snoozers even when other Back people won. I don't want them to be faster. Please do not. Please do not speed up. Um, but yeah, we've had, uh, I think, one record. Apparently, Spiss is the name of the group of fish in the sack of Bamba Spiss is in. Oh, so they're just... <laughs> we need a name for him. Uh, Spiss. There you go. I do want that diamond. I'll get my diamond. Oh. That's an extra luminescent for you. Oh, I guess I'll just scooch out here. There you go. Um, yeah, no, it's it's been pretty all right. Uh, different people have been able to win different races, which I think is great fun. Oh, who can I touch? Who can I touch? I can't. I can't tell who I can touch. Let me get the this. Uh, it was the first guy who I could touch the whole time. Fish card time. Nice work. You want another fish card? Another one. Mushroom coral, excuse me. Hey, there are no light bulbs in the ocean. Uh oh. Lights out! Panic! Panic! Do I get any chance? I get- okay, I got a little bit of a chance, but only a little bit. This is a light bulb break sound. They put in, like, slightly more effort on this one as well. Can't believe- can't believe the- the lights out fish game with the very weird, like... <laughs> the weird movement controls. But that's, uh, that's the one. That's the game they put in all their heart and soul into. You're gonna enjoy this one. Oh my gosh, by the way, how do I- how do I dodge this? I think I'll have a shot when, uh, this guy moves past. Okay, see what I mean? So I can move up right real quick and then up a bit more. Yeah, okay. Someone do a max points achievement if you ever come back for this. For this <laughs> ever looking at my stream for like the retro achievement set. Do all the points. 
I haven't been paying attention if you were losing points when you take a hit, maybe. Extra luminosa. No, no, keep it in the main set. That's a main set. Nah, a bit, probably just nice pass work. a certain you score. Don't do all, all the points. Leave it for a leaderboard. I'm actually curious if, like, uh, some of the other games end. Because, like, we hit the end of one of these. So maybe, we'll see. Ah, oh, what? That's just cruel. That's just cruel. Oops. You see what I mean? It's like... Actually, I could have touched both of those fish there. Still. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> we lo we be losing all our lives on this one. Ugh. We got it. We got it. We're good. <laughs> yeah, true. The freaking... <laughs> Freaking puzzle one, just just do a puzzle. There's a shark one, and I hope I'm actually good enough to do the shark one. Oh, okay. I love the aesthetic though. Like it's just simple. All of this game is like very simple aesthetic, but there's just something kind of just neat about how it all works. I'm actually curious whether the art director was like completely different from the. Um, from the previous two, because they just all feel like they're very different in terms of like how everything is drawn. Uh, I think they're gonna bounce and bounce back, yeah. So I can just hang right, hang right, right now. There you go. Get the fish card. Get that fish card. Nice work. You want another fish card? M manta ray. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I think it's been a good year for F1 so far. The final See, okay, they called it the final passage. That's how you know. That's how you know you're at the end. Okay, that's what I get for trying to get diamonds, but it's fine. We're good. I have to survive. Exactly. Improvise. Survive. Uh, I'm curious if I'll be able to get around this guy. I will right, we'll just kind of squeeze in and hope I've got the column right. Uh, uh, uh. All right, go right, go right. There we go. We're good. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's my graphics card. That's the score. Uh, you were paying attention just then, right? Hold on. Oh, I can't retouch these fish. Okay. Oh, we're going right down the middle. Right down the middle. All right, the last screen. Can I touch that? Nope. Not at all. I have to touch this one, right? Yeah. Alright, it's just dodging two. It's just dodging two. It's just dodging two of them. Fit in the gap. Let him pass. And then try and get past that bottom boy. And then we did it. I can actually beat a second minigame in this. Nice. Uh, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Congrats. <laughs> it feels like the game's card. struggling more as that is like being played. I feel, I don't know, you <laughs> feel like getting a little slower as I go.
The seal is back. We did it. Woo! Very nice. Very nice. Ah, oh, but we didn't get number one because I skipped all the diamonds. All right. One achievement. Beat this. Second achievement. Beat Dorothy Ann. I, I mean, you know how long that, that, uh, crab one is going to go for though, right? Cool. Some food from above for the bottom dwellers. That hagfish will bore into the body of the dead fish. Now out the intestines first, then eat the meat. I'll at least be the meat. skin and bones. We strike again. Yuck. Remind me not to invite him over to dinner. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. This is going to... That gopher no. is a mean, mean eating machine. That one just ate a fish bigger than itself. It's Ralphie's hero. What? <laughs> oh. Very nice. Sperm whales died too <laughs> Sperm whales, there they are again. Squid, and they produce a huge sound to stun them. Then they can swallow the giant squid whole. Yes. Alright, back on the ship. Let's check out what's going on. Oh, I didn't I didn't check out the clam notes. Give me my clam notes. If all the oceans evaporated, Mauna Kea, found in Hawaii, would be the tallest mountain in the world. Of course, the fish wouldn't be too happy about it. Uh I remember I think when was K2 discovered? Because I remember K2 being like when I was in like primary school. That was like the mountain. And that's above sea level, but it extends further down. So, if you were to count that, that'd be, you know, the, the highest, like, mountain on its own. Um, but it's not the highest point on that. That'd be Mount Everest. So, but yeah, when did they discover this? Because maybe that's, uh... Yeah. Who knows? The giant squid, which can reach a length of over 45 feet, feeds by seizing its prey with its two club-shaped tentacles, which pass it back to its eight arms. Then it's powerful. You gotta stretch them and tear the animal apart. <laughs> smack that deep blue Hasta la vista, fishy. Nice. The deepest place on Earth is the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean. It's over 36,000 feet deep. If you were to drop a steel ball into it, it would take over an hour to drop to the bottom. I hope I don't drop the keys to the bus. Oh my gosh, he drives the bus. Flatfish, like flounders, sole, and halibut, start their lives looking like other kinds of fish, but as they grow, their bodies flatten out so that one side becomes the bottom, with the eye on the other side moving to the top of the side to join the other one. I guess you could say they're flat out funny looking. Nice, thank you, my man. Thank you. Making fun of how people look. Particularly fish. Fish are funny looking all the time. In the mid-ocean area, things start to change. The blue of the ocean gets darker as the light fades. It gets colder and pressure builds. There aren't any plants because there isn't enough light for them to grow. And there aren't very many animals because there isn't very much food. And if you go down even deeper, like 3,000 feet, you get to the deep sea where there's no light at all. Yeah, that's always fun. Many, many animals in the midwater area travel to the upper That's so cool that they got like all these photos food. of uh, they have all these things even back then though. Like I know like, light. you know, underwater technology hasn't exactly like, the light that filters down from the we figured that out quite a so while ago, just, to you know, see them some from good below. stuff, but oh, it's good animals fun just seeing pictures. That's what makes it special. That's what makes it so cool. too long a trip for them. Well, the ones in the photos, I guess, but... <laughs> Animals that live in the deep... How many... How, how, what's the longest life any That's of these aquatic animals can actually animals live for? Animals do find food. Some of them gulp it down whole, even if it's bigger than they are. Yeah, like, they're just the talking about how most of these fish will just eat whole, milk, like, other animals. Jaws and sharp teeth. One six-inch eel was once found with a nine-inch fish coiled in its stomach. Ah... <sighs> Wow. Remind me to not invite him to dinner. Yeah, boy. <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's see what you know about photophores. Take a good look at the pattern photo on fours. the left, and then scroll through the animals on the right to find its match. That's kind of fun that a lot of animals just right emit one. light. Click on the green button to see how you did. Good luck. 
Okay, so I'm assuming this thing matches something that's sort of the same, like, shape, like... This guy. What? Don't uh -uh me. Don't uh -uh me. Okay. Oh! Oh! It's a match! Lantern fish. Wow. Okay. Which one's this one? This is. Oh my gosh, by the way. This is. I used to always think moose. <laughs> Creepy moose. This thing haunts my dreams, man. I'll tell ya. No, it's not that one. Viper fish. Viper fish. Oh, I know this one. This one's the freaking salty bed. It's got a salty back. Gigantictus. Okay, that <laughs> that's definitely his name. Uh, this is probably just the angler fish with a little deep sea angler on the front. Or is it just this guy? Oh, it is just this guy. Male stomiatid. Could nail that delivery though, I'll tell you that. Great job. Hatchet fish. Just the male one, yeah, yeah. The female one, we don't know what it looks like. I don't know why I thought that, that lined up. You got it. Dragon fish. That's what dragons look like. Oh, he's coming at ya. Seleno toothless squid. Ooh, good delivery on that one. Seleno toothless squid. That's right. Seleno toothless squid. Okay. <laughs> Where are these words coming from? Where? Great job. Gulper eel. Uh, don't mind if I do. Uh, which one haven't we done? This guy, I guess. It's a, oh, it's all Latin, yeah. Flashlight fish. Actually, some of it may be Greek. Toothus. Uh, is it just a flashlight fish again? Flashlight fish. Okay, we're... <laughs> We haven't done this boy. We don't know about this one. You just keep going between the, the squid again. <laughs> I just want to hear that delivery one more time. You got it. Seleno toothless squid. Oh, so good. All right. Well, we got two more places to go. Let's go. I like how you can click her as well, but. And we're already at two hours, so I need to get the get the move on. Baby cows aren't the only things that are called calves. A baby whale is also called a calf. I hope that fact amuses you. He did it. He managed to fit in the Lemon cow pun. Give birth to ten to thirteen live baby sharks at a time. The little sharks are called pups. I don't even want to think about the diaper situation. Oh. The gray whale can grow to be 50 feet long and weigh as much as 35 tons. That is true. Their tongues weigh about as much as a small family car. But don't try to drive one without a license. The sides and belly of the dragonfish aligns with organs that give off light, which draws prey towards it and lures mating partners in. Sounds like a disco to me. <laughs> okay, sure. In we go. The deep sea vents. So I love how like I don't think we've ever like you can really have photos down here, but you could you could feel them. Many of the animals here feast on bacteria. You could say it's a bac <laughs> What was that cut off? Move your mouse and watch him follow the arrow. He's hungry for lantern fish, so click to make him open wide and gulp them down. That's right. We wanna eat. We wanna eat, get him! Get him! 
Get him. Uh, eat him. Eat him. There you go. Wow, that's a bit awkward, isn't it? I've... <laughs> doesn't quite feel right. It really doesn't quite feel right to get him. Hold on, this will be easier. Straight in the mouth. Straight in the mouth. Yeah, this is gonna be a weird set, man, I tell ya. Oh my gosh, how did... What, what is the angle I need in order to get this guy? I'm just gonna evaporate in a moment. Or he sleeps. One of the two. Do you want to keep on playing? I do want to keep on playing. I didn't even get a fish card out of that one. Come on, we can, we can do this. We can get this. Yeah, the disrespect. The bottom of the leaderboard is literally just getting past this first level. So we'll see. I managed to eat the diagonal. You just... Oh, I just got to get him on the neck. The neck is really where you eat things. Seriously, I'm going to line up the neck. It's easier. Hi, I would like a fish. <laughs> Great. You want a what was that car. noise? Where did that come from? What? <laughs> Yoda come out of nowhere. I'd love... Oh, that missed opportunity to have a fish game where the fish grows bigger every time, though. What was the first game that did that? Like, have it where the fish, like, gains in size. Also, hi, that time limit is starting to get real tense. Feeding Frenzy? Maybe Feeding Frenzy. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, cool, I can definitely get him. I can definitely get that guy. Because it does use energy when you're moving, so... Oh my gosh. Oh no. Do I try one more time? I'll try one more time. Oh. 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 Do you want to keep on playing? Okay, maybe not actually. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't trust it. I don't trust it. <laughs> I really don't trust that man. <laughs> oh, but I clicked on it again anyways. <laughs> alright, alright, one more go, one more go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was terrifying. I pause. Hi. Yeah, remember when I said that lining it up with the neck works? Oh, you see what I mean? Also, you can just eat rocks. Rocks! Huh. You absolute dunce, I know. <laughs> you did it you again! I want to know if that sound is the fish. I want to know if that's the fish making that sound. Yeah, this is when it's the absolute dunce. Doesn't know how to play a magic school bus fish game. Didn't know you could just eat rocks. <laughs> Great. Yeah, it you is the fish. fish also, was the fish counting as... Sorry, as the... Not the fish count, but the rocks counting? Lake? It is. Oh, interesting. Maybe that's why I, uh... Suck. Very bad, apparently. Oh, he's gone past me. He's, he's a long gone. Lost soul right there. Maybe we can do it. Maybe we can get the 50. <laughs> you want a fish card. To be fair, uh you give it a few goes, you get there. You get there. It's always like that, you know. But yeah, no, I definitely say the games are a bit more thought out. Um, there's definitely some intriguing ones of the, uh, in the, uh, the body game. But certainly, like, hey, this is like an actual, like, game happening here. And the art's a bit less, uh, 
you know, let's get near the question centralized banking. I'll just say that. <laughs> you just won another fish card. This seems like an actual real quick one to grind the fish cards. That or the 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 beach, actually. But yeah, in the grand scheme of like edutainment packages, like this is this is good fun. It's got you know like you we're learning stuff about the sea. We are legitimately mm -hmm. learning Great. things about the you sea. A fish card. Like it's very hard for it to go over your head, but it also feels like decently fun in the mix, which is the exact goal of what this game is. You know meant to be doing which is get kids that care about the sea uh also this background is dope i love it but it doesn't have sacrobambuspus that is true but uh i believe so the other two games i had was uh there was actually i had five magic school bus games i lied i didn't have four i had five uh there was uh, explores the earth which came out after this and then there was a dinosaur one and a rainforest one. Uh, so in in theory, a fish is a dinosaur. Great, you won a fish card. Oh, there he is! There he is! We got that squid. Whoop! I like how there's not really anything like the bars going out quicker, but that's kind of it. And I have to eat slightly more, maybe. Ugh. Dinosaurs are like toddlers compared to this the spiss true. Yeah, I remember the, the earth one a fair bit, but yeah, the dinosaur one was sort of <laughs> It was sort of once I was getting to that age where I was like, oh I don't watch Magic School Bus anymore. And Magic School Bus was like you know, it it's pretty it's pretty culturally significant, but it didn't last like as long as you'd maybe think. Interestingly as well, I don't think it's like a crazy, like, it's got the books. But it, like, it lasted like, what, 10, 12 years? Which is a good amount of time, but the TV show wasn't that long. Oh. I remember this one episode of the show where uh, the bus was, like, needed a mechanic. And instead of, like, going to, like, a regular mechanic, you go to, like, basically the, the bus wizard. <laughs> Great. You they did reboot, card. yes. But that... That's over now, isn't it? The Magic School Bus Rides Again is not like... They're not currently making more of that right now. And it sort of is like... You know, it, it, it is a... It's it's a... Oh my gosh, by the way, the, the bar goes down so quick. You gotta be so certain that these things are falling on you now. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna live on this one. I don't have the strat. Yeah, I don't have the strat to pull this off. We'll never know if there's an actual level 10 out of this, but... I'll leave it there, because I topped the time. I topped the score. I'm happy. And now I gotta wait for the game to, like, address itself. It's thinking. It's thinking, I think. Do you want to play some more? That is very terrifying how long that takes to wait there. Rule Supreme. Uh, I'll leave it as an exercise for the achievement dev. As I always say, time at the hot vents is time well spent. Cool. This giant tube worm has no mouth or Look digestion. at these weird things though. But that's alright because bacteria living inside it provide it with food. No mouth. It must be speechless with gratitude for the bacteria. Uh, not longer than Metroid, no. Because we've only got one more location to go. I think the game is actually decently long there, but, like, we're still waiting for the... This fish is protected from predators in the sea. The fish with the anemone, so I'm thinking it'll probably just show up in the, uh... You know, in the, uh... The, the coral. <laughs> he did it, he did it! He did it! Give us a science prack on this one. Alvin is a mid-range submersible that operates in the ocean depths down to 13,000 feet. 
Since 1964, Alvin has made over 12,000 scientific dives. Alvin is about 12, 25 000? feet Jeez. long and carries a pilot and two observers. Special arms allow to take temperature and other also, readings haven't I seen this one before? bottom samples and different organisms. Lights and video cameras let Alvin record the area it visits. In 1979, Alvin see this one first already. people down to explore the deep Yeah, it was the bootleg. Maybe we did see this page before. Hold on. Also, hi, the, the mouse stopped working again, which means you got to do that. Nice. But we have seen this page before. Hold on. Scroll on over. Deep sea vents. Deep ocean. Kelp forest. Open ocean. Did we not... Do we not do the deep ocean one? We did, because we're talking about predators. How come... Oh. Yeah, how come I've seen that one already? Kelp forest. We did the kelp forest, because it talks about the forest of science. Ah, oh, I might be tweaking if we missed one, but... <laughs> Check it out! Slide the red button up or down to choose an ocean depth. Check out how much food and light are available at that depth. Then press the blinking green light. What you'll get is an imaginary fish with adaptive... I'll, I'll go back and check out the motion in a bit. At that depth. Alright, what, what's my fish gonna look like? Okay, that's my fish. Alright, what's my fish gonna look like? Ooh. This is kinda neat, actually. Freaking Animorphs, Fish Edition. I sneeze away from the microphone. No, I will not return to... Dude, if I lived in, like, without light, would I become this? Would this be what I look like? I'll have this, like... <laughs> there he goes. Woo. Very nice. I'd probably... Well, no, I'd grow a light out of my forehead. Alright, what are we doing? We're doing the ocean. It's all the ocean. Uh... I guess we didn't know. There are a bunch of food chains in the ocean. Many plants and animals are linked in more than one chain. Overfishing of one kind this is of the animal will weaken or break a link and affect all the other animals in the chain, including people. That's why it's so important to keep the ocean clean and be wise about using its resources. Phytoplankton are tiny plant Good old phytoplankton. That exist in the upper sunlit parts of okay. the ocean. Like plants and seaweeds, they make their own food by using the sun's energy. If the conditions are right, the phytoplankton will bloom, which means they grow and reproduce like crazy. Phytoplankton are food for small animals that eat Bring plants. Bring back 90s lingo. Some I'm so tired of skibbity gat Rizla. The most common type Bring of back tubula. In the ocean is the copepod, which is related to crabs and shrimp. And boy, Bring do back they like totally. to phytoplankton. Fish like herring use structures called gill rakers to strain the tiny copepods from the water. Then large fish like mackerel eat these fish, oh. and then they might get eaten by a large tuna. Dude, there are so much like. So I guess that I makes say, me there's so much predator. vor in the ocean, but like, you know what I mean? It's like I was just watching clips of man, that was a living fish for a bit, and now it's not. It's not a living fish anymore. Yeah. Okay, so what we got to do now is we go to the deep. Well, not the deep. The the coral. It's our last last stop before back to the beach, I guess, and we gotta solve our uh, our our game as well. Unlike bony fish, sharks can blink their eyes. The eyelids of shark close upwards, unlike yours, which close downwards. I guess even eyelids have their ups and downs. Nice, but also <laughs> some sea anemones reproduce by splitting in two, which creates an exact copy of itself. That must get very confusing. I hope they all wear name tags. Okay. Australians call the Great Barrier Reef the world's largest living thing. Uh, it's 1,250 miles long. Can you imagine how long it would take to knit a sweater for the Great Barrier Reef? 
This is a bit tragic, isn't it? The radula of cone snails have tiny the Great Barrier Reef may be dying filled with a pretty quick. Venom, which is used to partially because uh, the tourism this is insane. Venom is strong enough to and partially kill because uh, so don't you it's do getting anything a bit too fishy warm. around the cone snail. Like, it, it's it's sort of like a very just perfect climate when people were discovering it, and that was like, yeah, nah, it's changing a bit too much. Let's check it out now. Yeah, this should probably meet our sea anemone clue. Anemone. I still like that this bus keeps shrinking. Don't need to go in Arnold's innards, but still got to fit in here. If only the inside of the, the bus kept changing all the time, you know? Hey, this looks this looks pretty on, on, on point. How many PC games involve some kind of static background and a 3D animated thing just like swimming around, basically? Where is that sound coming from? That's a big brain. Well, it's not a big brain, we're shrunk down to it. Brain, brain smooth, brain small. Coral reefs are made up of billions of coral skeletons. Who coral thought skeletons. So pretty, was so gruesome. Oh. I think coral reefs are really great. A whole bunch of animals live together and are connected. That's why they're called colonies. Lots of one-cell plants called zooxanthellae live inside coral polyps. You're writing this down. This is all on the test. <laughs> Gotta be careful about the word anemones, though. It runs in the family. Coral reefs are made up of billions of coral skeletons. Who would have thought something? Yep. Okay. <laughs> swimming out. Swimming out of here. We're just learning facts here. Don't need them. Yeah, I thought anemones were like the like the 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 kind of brushy kind. You know, like uh, like uh, the clownfish are probably the clue. Go get him! Grab that clownfish! This jokes aren't funny! You're a clownfish? You're not funny? No. Come on. Get him. Get him! Oh, I can't watch! That clownfish is gonna get stunned by the anemone's tentacles! Don't worry, Phoebe. Clownfish aren't harmed by the stinging cell. They use anemones to protect themselves from predators. That's such a weird, job. like, di uh, I guess, relationship as well. Because <laughs> it's like... And hide among its tentacles to protect itself from predators. The whole Finding Nemo movie. Are you curious? He touched about the your bus. Clue? When this slippery animal opens wide, it gets fish bigger than itself inside. Uh, it's one of the deep sea places. We'll look for that in a bit. Here it comes. Right on, dudes. What a relief to be in the reef. Isn't it beautiful? Shrinkage time. Let's check out the coral up close. Did we, did we do this already? We did this already. We did this already, guys. You didn't announce it, but we did. Okay. Okay, we're swimming in again. Swimming in again. Hey, all I'm doing is I'm clicking on things. This has more interactivity. I love how many PC games, like, actually, you know what's shocking? I, when I, earlier this year, I played the, that sound is terrifying. Earlier this year, I played the, uh, was it the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory PS2 game. It's got a set. It is a shockingly bad game. It's, it's remarkably bad. Like, just like a complete mess of a game. Look up a long play of the PC version. It's like, it is a, a real, like, bizarre game. And a part of me is like, that is the same. I think this is. Where'd that trumpet fish come from? Oh. Part, part of it is like, it's. It hides behind larger fish until it's mechanically, clear. like, the same thing as this. Like, obviously, it's got oh, no. puzzles, but like, it's, it's just sprites moving around, around on the screen, which is the same technology we've had for like 10 hey. years. Let's play the coral maze game. The coral maze. Okay, so I used to spend my time on this. Tons. Uh, I will show it on 
some difficulties and then we'll see what's going on. But this game goes on forever. Not forever. Use your arrow keys to move her around. Push the left and right arrow keys to turn Shannon. And push the up arrow key to move her forward. This is our, our female gamers, female characters in gaming. Freaking, I would spend my, like, just years on this. One, because the music is, like, absolute chill. And also because I'm a sucker for Chip's Challenge. But it's just like, it's a, it's a chill navigate through the maze game. And then you're like, oh, I found my way towards the destination. And you get a fish card. Oh, there you go. Oh, it, this is, this is Vaporwave. You got a fish card. Good old Chip's Challenge too. It's weird as well, because like he released, was it Chuck's Challenge in the middle? So like, it's obviously like... Doing stuff. Puzzle elements, by the way. You gotta raise things, you gotta lower things. But yeah, I. This is where all my time would be spent. Just getting this game. Like. You know, just navigating my way, being like, oh, you know, I could squeeze in through here. Because the, the isometric is very. Like. Throws you off a little bit as well, but it's good fun. Hi, I would like to. Can I just like squish in there? That doesn't look like I could swim in there, right? No. Okay, in that case, I'm I'm going about wrong. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. There there are many like first person maze games as well around the era. I say it's on easy, and then I, here I am struggling. Listen, I, I'm I'm playing this in its like original resolution in a tiny window. I think this is this is 640 by 480. This is like as it should be. As a what is it as as God intended 640 by 480? And you're like. Yeah, there you go. You, you see what I mean? It's just, you, you figure it out. You, you get, you find it. Uh, is it preserved? Maybe. It's, unfortunately, it is stretched out on, a uh, on the, um, stream. So, it's, uh... 1440 by 1080 on the the stream output um and that's not a that's not a pixel perfect stretch but i would also argue you're playing it on a like on a monitor that does have like a bit of pixel bleed at the time like Great. it probably you looks a lot more like what you're seeing on stream than what i'm seeing in the window so just to just to jump out and we'll jump to the hard difficulty just to show off Way to go. As much of the hard difficulty as I want to show off, really. This, this has difficulty levels, though. So, like, it's got more going on. With, well, let's go back to the bus so I don't accidentally click on anything. And then I can jump into the minigame from the bus. Uh, there we go. To the bus. There you go. Look at that. You don't need to, you don't need to click on random things. You could just be in the bus. So this jumps into, like, Maze 11. And that's what I mean by, like, this will just go on. But there is no threat. It's purely a time game. Playing to the end of this. That's what I mean. It's like, you know, we'd, we would be here for hours if it was just like doing the maze game. But still, it is chill as. Also, hi. Can I just leave instead of... No, I want that. I want that. Why would you leave? Why would you leave? This... Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is it. This is where it's at. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. We're not pixel perfect on stream. It's, it's stretched out slightly. 
Warcraft 1 and 2. Yeah, yeah. Actually, can I even go out? I think I've just trapped myself into, like, going to the end of the level. Dang. Okay. That's what I get. I jumped into hard difficulty. Yeah, some of them... It, it always hurts when you don't get it pixel perfect. There's, there's a bunch of games that are like that. Uh, there's a lot of real terrible uh, ports of old Square Enix, like SNES games, on Steam. Um, not the not the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster, I think they've resolved it by now for that. But like, yeah, the original version of Final Fantasy 5 and 6 on Steam were... Um, like, they were literally GBA emulators that were running like... HQ2X versions of the textures, and it's just like... Hi, the textures don't HQ2X on the boundaries very well. Like, like, I don't know how they botched that up, but yeah. Warcraft 1 used something called Tall Pixels, so on. Yeah, that as well. That, and and that's, a, that's a thing that, like, so many uh, emulators sometimes also miss as well. Where square resolution, as in, you, like, yeah, different different games will, I think, that will close immediately as I go past it. Which means I'll lead to the end of the level. I want to get that, that stuff. I want to get the goodies. Because you don't get any points for just getting to the end. Um, but yeah, yeah, there's lots of, uh, lots of, um, there's some consoles and, yeah, various games where it's like, it, don't play it in square resolution. You want it to, you know, stretch out to 4x3 or something like that. And then generally when you do that, you, you probably want some, like, you know, non, you know, you, you want a little bit of blurring and stuff like that, some filters to make it look alright. Look at that, we got points. That's all we needed, really. So yeah, I go past this and it will close behind me. But yeah, no, this is this is a full just aesthetic, a full vibe. Even if the music has stopped and I'm just hearing waterfall noises. So let's see if I can get to the end of uh, level 15, I guess. And then we'll see if it just keeps going after that, because I'll be like, yeah, no, we're good. We're good. We got to the end of level 15. Great. You want a fish card. We got a fish card. How many? Okay, I really want to know if I've, like, picked up everything as well. But yeah, I just, I just navigate this for, like, hours. So good. Can you tell I actually didn't prep that much of this? I just sort of went in with it. I'm like, oh, it's been a while since I've played Magic School Bus in the Ocean. Uh, can I just leave when I go through there? I'm curious. doesn't feel like it, but it also does seem like there's post behind there, so I don't know. We'll see. So we've got this one chilling up here. And I, th oh, I thought I could get into that. I guess there's a blue behind it. Seriously, all these sprites are like pushing on each other so hard. Like that's the, that's the fun of this whole art style. Yeah, no, I think this is uh, straight to the dead end. Oh, there we go. So that opens up the green, wherever that is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I can actually go back. It's hard to see visually. It's it's very hard to see, but seriously, I get enthralled by like mazes. I used to be like very very autistic. I'd just like draw my own little mazes, inspired mostly by the 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 Celadon, like the Team Rocket hideout, like little arrows all over the place, and they crisscross over each other. I just draw them like constantly, and I think my like parents thought I was like possessed or something because I'd just constantly draw these like very abstract arrows, and they'd have no idea what it meant, and I'd always be like very secretive about it. I'd be like, oh, you know, like, 
<laughs> I came up with this. I'll never just say it's from a video game. It was all me. I came up with it. The kid of evil. Exactly. Exactly. One day, I will get my parents to play Pokemon. For once. <laughs> they- I- I love my parents, you know, you know give, give me a Game Boy and just let me roll with it, but oh boy, they- the only game my, like, mum's ever played is Bejeweled. Because Bejeweled would be on the computer and she'd just, like, play that. I have no idea how to get to the other- I guess that's the red afterwards. Um, but, like, she does not, uh, you know, play any other games, my dad doesn't play any other games, and it's like... Yeah, or well, not even and similar games. It was exclusively Bejeweled. She never got into Candy Crush when that was a thing. And it still is a thing somewhat. I'm, a, I'm shocked how much money Candy Crush continues to make for them. Uh, how do I get to that blue all the way over there? Is that just like right before the, the, the card? Like if I turn left here, how do I get that? It's probably on the way out, I guess. I'm gonna be here for forever though if I don't just bail, so we'll just we'll just call it there, leave it as an exercise for the viewer. Mum also played Harry Potter 2 and 3 on the PC. I was excited. Yeah, yeah, my mum never never watched, yeah. Wow, you won another I'll call the, the, the fish maze on this, even though I probably spent more time on some of the other games. Just I, I, I know I'm going to be here for like hours otherwise, and <laughs> dolphins are fish. I know, I know. Seriously though, I, I think that most of the love is actually on this game. But I, in general, like, I think they cared a lot. There's a lot of like real clunky, just like pinball ones in the first game. Pumpkins aren't vegetables, that is true. Dude, I'm playing Puzzle World 2013 right now. I'm just going through that set. And one of the crossword clues was vegetable that grows in the ground. Six letters. Like, what, what do you want me to do there? Vegetable that grows in the ground. Yeah, which... All of them, right? Except for bananas, I guess. So... So we'll call that there for the... The, sure the shark game. I see, did we get a... Did we get a leaderboard? Go. You want a lot of fish cards. Come back again and win some more. I guess, yeah. Oh, I guess you just do the levels. Anyway, little little lab experiment. Are you ready to watch the food chain in action? Oh, we are about to watch a lot of war. First, take a good look at your play. When you're ready, click on the green button to see your choices for predator. When you think you know what fish can capture the prey, click on it. Then click on the hunt button and watch Mother Nature work it out. Oh boy. Alright, we got we got our range of prey 2017s to go with. Let's watch it go. Okay, who eats the bugs? This guy. Right? Go for it. Get him! Get him! Oh, he's a goner. He's an absolute goner. Alright, who eats the big one? The shark. This might be overkill for him. Squid a chewy though. Yeah, who else is gonna eat that? No one. The coral, the coral's eaten by uh, this thing. They've always got the mouths for it. Oh, he missed! The jerk! Don't make me feel bad, game. Don't, don't do this to me. The school of fish? That's right, the school of fish is eaten by this thing. The sturgeon. Yep, they are goners. The that thing is that this guy, or is it the eel? Nope. Probably the uh, the height on the on the thing probably gives it away, doesn't it? Making fun of me again, game. Tisk tisk. Crawl, crawl. Finally, finally, a food for me. He sort of missed, but we'll get points for effort. Uh, okay, so which one did we not do? We didn't do the, uh... Uh, hi, game. I've completely forgotten which one we missed. 
I'm happy. We're showing it off. It's all good. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going for... Give us a one. What could the coral reef experiment be? It's all about adaptation, Carlos. Ooh. <laughs> Give us a textbook. Corals are animals related to coral. jellyfish and sea anemones. A single coral animal it's is called a, a polyp. Like its relatives, corals Not have tentacles anemones. with stinging cells that they use to get food. Reef building. Yeah, no, I definitely recommend go going back for these ones. These will Zoe's never. Anthelli. Oh yeah, yeah. That, dude, there's some fun fractal the designs going on in like sea plants as well. Snowflakes are always the classic for fractals, but... People have, uh, polyps. Reef building corals need special conditions True. to grow. Yes. They are found in clear, shallow water, so the zooxanthellae can get the sunlight. Zooxanthellae! They also need warm water, a firm bottom to attach to, and wave action, which brings nutrients and oxygen to the attached animals. Oh yeah, because otherwise they're just kind of chilling, no food. Literally live in a place where the food comes to you. Most reef building corals are actually colonies of many polyps. Each animal makes a limestone skeleton shaped like a cup, but remains connected to the other polyps by a layer of tissue. As the years pass, new corals build skeletons on top of the old ones, and a reef is made. Only the surface of the reef is alive. The rest is made up of skeletons. It's all skeleton graveyard. Uh, but yeah, let's check out. Oh, I've clicked on the uh, make a fish. I'm assuming this is the same game. Yeah, it's the same thing every time. How odd that that's like, yep, that's our pride and joy right there. Oh, wrong one. You know, it's probably the one with the card symbol on it. Yeah, we gotta find the, the, the clues first, but I wanna look at the fish card. Look how many fish cards I got. I must have not gotten all of them as well. We got rares as well. But yeah, you may find fish cards that I never found. Whoa, rock beauty, bam, bam. Very nice. Yeah, 48 slots. More fish to find. But I like this idea of just like collecting these cards. It's nice fun. Uh, so what's our last clue? Hold on, give us the the thing. Uh, it was something involving a uh, fish that eats its uh, its size. So it's probably down here in the kelp land we saw. And if it's not, it's deep sea. I think it is deep sea actually. We'll go deep sea first. Yeah, it's this guy. It's exactly that guy. He's just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Go up to him. Go up to him. You're looking mighty tasty, Carlos. Eel is a lean, mean eating machine. That one just ate a fish bigger than itself. It's Ralphie's hero. Oh. Gopher eel can open its mouth to an almost 180 degree angle if it needs to eat something Wario huge. moment. Well, 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 you did it. The treasure awaits you and the deep ocean is where you'll find it. Go to the deep ocean and use your treasure scanner and the treasure is all yours. Are we, are we not already in the deep ocean? Delicious. Okay. Here we go. We're looking for it, wherever it is. As I always say, oh, man, it's we right can there. have a heap of fun in the deep. <laughs> it's right there on the on the cursor. We did it! It was chilling there the whole time. So I kind of like how it, you know, it gives you some clues, but you gotta look around basically. You gotta you gotta know your your ocean if you want to efficiently find this. Is he just chilling there, or is he gonna go get it? Oh, I gotta click again. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, all the fish came out to celebrate. Dude, I don't think, I don't think the PS5 can run this. It's too intense. 
I'm actually really like disappointed at like how sort of shoddy the PS5 Pro runs. Not that it's not powerful. Some fanboy is going to be like, what do you mean it's so much more powerful? But that like all it's doing is that it's catching up the, the resolution that actually doesn't quite get You've achieved right now. discovered a whole treasure chest full of fascinating ways that animals live together. Just like us, they have adapted to their environment in special ways. Isn't it marvelous that something so interesting is there for you to learn about whenever you want? That is true. Now that's a treasure. We did it! I'm the master of marine biology. I want to put this on my wall. I, I want to put this on my wall. The Magic School Buzz Underwater Explorer Award of Ultra Coolness. Way to go, Professor. I'm a professor. Miss Frizzle gave me that. You can print this as well. You can actually like put this on your wall. So, very nice. Very nice. Otherwise though, I kind of like how you can then uh, hit quick save and it actually lets you just start the treasure hunt again. So if you like doing the treasure hunt, you can, you know, save your, your face here again. There I am. Uh, and yeah, you can, oh, so you can turn off lights. Uh, but yeah, you could give another treasure hunt a go if you want. Yeah, this is all the same no matter where you go. But yeah, no, there's a good amount of stuff to, to see here. And uh, I think the mini games are neat fun. I think we learned a lot about the ocean. We found treasure. The, the real treasure was inside us all along. Good stuff. But yeah, no, give this a go. It's, it's abandoned where you're going to have to just find it on various sites that uh, show some abandoned wear, which is perfectly fine. That's, you know... It's where it's at, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, it's as easy as running on any Windows 98. Uh, use PCM. It's it's pretty good on doing that. So, uh, but yeah, no, I hope you learned a bunch of stuff. DOS. Yeah, uh, you could do. Oh, it has to be in Windows. So you could do Windows 3 in DOSBox. But yeah, I'd probably just use PCM. Uh, use Windows 98 and a Pentium 200. Um, processor and it'll it'll run like this uh i might i wish that there was a better processor that it also ran as well maybe a pentium 400 would be pretty neat but 200 does the job uh, so that's all good uh but yeah no we navigated to all the areas and uh we discovered the joys of the underwater so i hope you enjoyed this uh and no it's been great going back to this so with that Th oh, first of all, you want to see what happens when you quit the game, first of all. So we saved, it literally boots out. <laughs> Nothing fancy, so. With that, thank you very much for watching. Uh, exactly, exactly, all the ocean friends, so. And if you want to uh, see more ocean, well, they're not really ocean friends, but uh, yeah, you can follow on Twitch. Uh, Twitch.bnow or Twitch.tv slash I wish I had Twitch.bnow. Um, and yeah, missed parts of this, you guys were both here for the whole thing, so. Uh, VOD will be on YouTube soon. And, uh, not for all the mazes. You can, you can enjoy the mazes yourself. I, don't watch me solve all the mazes. Yeah, but no, it's, it's good stuff. And, uh, yeah, follow on the Fettyverse, mwnow.com, where all of our deep sea friends, uh, shall communicate and, uh, join in. So, yeah, uh, wholesome interactions there as well. Uh, it's all good. Exactly, the Fettyverse. So, with that, thanks everyone. Have a great, uh, Thanksgiving, if you do Thanksgiving, or just a great, you know, end of... Uh, November and I'll see you back here for the festive season just a week away <laughs> oh exactly that's three hours uh swam by Ooh, I dude I I did not have as many fish puns as I wanted to the game sort of did it for me so <laughs> no nah, there's lots of great stuff in this so anyways peace people have a good one see ya